Welcome to Ohio Richlands. This is a ghost town in Vinton County in the state of Ohio here in the United States. Um, there are people that live here, but it is not an incorporated town. So we're going to do our best to incorporate it. One of the really neat things about this map just as a whole is there's a bunch of farms. Like there's a farm there. There's our starting farm. There's another farm over there. I'm pretty sure there's two or three over there. And there's quite a few more spread out all the way around, giving us plenty of room, plenty of opportunity to maybe have a little bit of fun. There's a couple neat things on this map as well that we're probably not going to be using right off the bat, like uh, cattle, for example. We have 80 head of cattle on here. We're not... We're definitely not going to be using all of those. We're probably going to sell those immediately. And there's unfortunately no production chain, so I'm going to do my best to at least put one down. We're not going to be using cheaty productions or anything like that. No trucker matsies, this and that, even though uh, this version of the map was modified by him. Big shout out to him. We're going to be using the base factories and we're going to be upgrading them as we go. I also noticed that I accidentally left all of my money in from when I was getting things set up. So there you go. hundred grand. We also need to take a look at all the equipment that we have because some things we're going to keep and other things we're just going to get rid of. And I am going to start with the equipment that it gives us, but I have swapped out two things. One of those being a harvester that's on here, the T560. I just swapped it out with my version. The only difference, it's got 100,000 liters instead of a, what, 11 or whatever it was. Actually, 82 Studio did this. Thanks, man. And the sprayer that was on here as well has been swapped out for the Kubota one from the Kubota equipment pack from Iconic Modding. Everything else on here is quite literally what comes on the map when you guys get it. We've got a small Massey Ferguson tractor. We got a 4755. Big truck. We got, of course, the harvester I talked about. We even have a skid steer. I'll do my best to incorporate that. And the old pickup truck, as well as a few pieces of equipment here that we're probably going to get rid of immediately because we have a direct drill and we're going to take full advantage of that. Another really nice thing about this map is there's not a lot of like massive, massive fields. Yeah, there's like some areas around. Like we start off with field number two here and it's pretty darn expensive. We also have farmland three. We have field six which is farmland nine and we own this 26 thing over here which i'm gonna go ahead and sell because i'm not going over there but like i said everything else on here is pretty much what you are going to be starting if you're not familiar with my series i just kind of play the game and have some fun is this a planter sure is let's go and get rid of that don't have a header that'll even work with that stuff yet we do have a trailer we'll hang on to that for now got a sprayer i could probably get rid of that actually we would make a little bit of money getting rid of that Oh, I can't sell it though. Wait, I might be able to sell it. Let's go in here and try this. Can we do it? That, oh wait, it's just on the map. I can't, I, can I not delete it? Nope, sure can't. All right, well, there's that. We got a baby baler. We'll probably end up using that for at least the first harvest. Uh, that'll help us out with loading a little bit. We got a massive, massive setup right here for grain hauling. I'm pretty sure this is the small trailer that comes with the uh, Load King. Yeah, the Super B pull, uh, pull trailer. Pretty sure that's like the back version of the other one. And then we've got an area here. We're just going to play, have a little bit of fun, and enjoy ourselves. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. We don't need that. And uh, this Caro, we don't need that either. What is this? Oh, it's a front loader for picking stuff up. I don't do that either, but we'll figure it out. Okay, first things first, we need to place down the grain mill. And I need to put this somewhere where there's not a field currently, because as soon as the field changes, uh, it's just going to go right over it again. So I'm going to find an area where there's no field that I can place down this grain. I also want to make sure that it's not on a farm that already exists. I did have one area picked out, but I couldn't really make it fit. So it's this area right here. We've got a couple of uh, fertilizer tanks and then we have the uh, Ohio Grain Course selling point up here. I thought this would be a nice place because there's this area right here, which I think we could probably flatten out, maybe make it a little bit more sturdy, but it should work okay. Let's see if we can take our flying guy right there. We'll go into productions, we'll go to our factories and grain mill right there. This one, this is the one. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and turn that on and we'll snap it into place. So this is kind of where I was thinking about putting it right there. But I also had the idea about putting it like right here. So we would almost be lined up straight with everything. It still wouldn't be like that weird of a place. 
And we could easily get in and out of where we are here, make our turns without being, you know, all up in the other area. So I think we'll do that. Pa bam Do a little quick double check real quick to make sure everything is good around it. And then uh, I think we'll be good. Yeah, so there is that. Uh, that's part of our money. We also need a bakery as well because, you know, flower simulator and all. Well, I was going to put it here, but uh, dudes be walking through my stuff. I'm not sure if that's going to work quite right. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. It looked like they just walked out of the, the front. All right, all right, all right. I'll put it here. <laughs> okay, so maybe not perfect, but it, I think, will do for now. So one of the big reasons that I needed to do this, like, ASAP versus waiting a little while, um, I use a mod called the Upgradable Factories. And if there's no factories on a map like this one, it, um, well, it won't load the game after you've already saved it the first time. So this will help us a ton. Speaking of, we'll come in here, we'll take a look at our first upgrade and see what we've got. Oh, that's not what I wanted. So we'll have to work for it. Let's get to work. First things first, I guess, since we've got two, uh, two setups, we need to get some harvesting done. Um, settings wise, I've got seasons turned off. We're gonna be doing seasonal cycles and the crops will still grow just fine. However, we're not gonna be worrying too much right now about any of the other stuff. We'll also, I think right here be okay. Eh, maybe we'll go up to the road and do this. I got traffic turned off, and I think the only thing really to worry about is crop destruction. That's really the only thing that's turned on right now. And I've done that for a bit of a reason. Uh, on the last map that we tried, Silver Run, man, rocks are annoying, and I found that out the all the ways. Not even the hard way, just all the ways. I don't want to deal with that again. And so we won. Also, you guys have been asking me for uh, a little bit longer gameplay series. So I say series, a little bit longer episodes, rather. So I'm going to try and do uh, the way I used to do. We're just going to play. We're going to have fun. We're going to talk about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. And I think this tractor's probably right on the edge of being just big enough to do this job. But it'll do the job nonetheless. One thing I will say about this map there's some really cool shaped fields on here that I think is going to give us uh, maybe not a run for our money. But we're really going to have some fun doing this. Starting off, we've got both of our starting fields. So field two and field number six. Field number six is a little bit more square than this one, uh, but they're both. Oh, yeah. Oops. But they're, neither one of them is going to take us a long, long time to do. So let's get to harvesting. And yeah, I'm, I'm fast farming. I'm I'm not gonna not do fast farming. Another thing with these fields, I'm starting to see, uh, they are not worker friendly. The next one will be field number six. This one, not so much. So I'm gonna have to do this whole thing by myself. Ah, these, these stupid trees along the side. I can't. These, they're way too close. All right, look. Delete objects on and then end their life. Come on, end yourself. <laughs> and the last bit is going down right here. There we go. Okay, so 53,000 liters of wheat in this first run. We'll go ahead and get this dumped in the uh, <laughs> tipper, which I'm uh, now remembering is probably not even going to hold this much. I mean, we can hope, but there's just like, there's no way, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, it, I mean, it, it held like 20,000 liters in the front, something like that. Another, whatever that is, about 20,000 liters. It's okay. We'll take that over to the grain mill, but uh, I guess we'll just have to move on with this guy. Also, okay, stop right where you're at. I I don't want to use baby bales. <laughs> is there any other balers in here? Ooh, there's my uh, Alpine or the Alpine loading wagon. Mmm, if we wanted to save the straw for future cattle, we could do that. And there are no balers through here. None whatsoever. Uh, I'll take a look real quick, but I don't think we're going to find an affordable baler anywhere. Oh, I forgot about these. So, uh, the 690 and the 100, the John Deere's, there's also the Chrono version right here as well. Ooh, which one should we go with? Maybe the John Deere? We do have the 4755. That might match up perfectly. Uh, I think the 100 is the US version. That looks pretty US to me. This one looks good, 
but I don't remember which one's which. All right, so I just looked it up. It is the 100 here. So um, I would love to have dual wheels on here, but doesn't look like uh, Michelin gives us that option. It's too grand to, to upgrade, but I think we may have to go for it here. There you go, upgraded. Got him. All right, so we've got that. We will go ahead and sell our John Deere, or the uh, Massey baler that we got there as well. And I need to figure out how in the world to get over to field uh, six. Am I on the right track? I am. Oh, it's right here. Sweet. Don't mind if I go in this other person's field. These are always fun when you got to get like way down in here. I would go in first person, but I'm crap in first person. So I'm not even going to try. And now we should be good to let this bad boy right here do what it does. Okay. So let's get this. Massey Ferguson right there, $19,000 to sell that. Not bad. Oh, I love the 4755. Oh yeah. Uh, I actually got to ride at a 4955 back when I was in Germany, which was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, I forgot to take that grain. I should probably do that too. Maybe we do that first. Well, we'll, we'll get this done here in a second. And we're off 40,400 liters of wheat. And some tells me we're gonna have about two to three times as much when we're all said and done. Since we own these, we shouldn't have many problems or any <laughs> for that matter. I hope we don't have any problems selling this stuff in here. We're not gonna sell it right here. We're gonna take our time and do a little spin a -roo, and we'll come over here and deliver. So the pallets are gonna be there and I think I may at least for now have it spawn pallets. But then again, I might figure out how to get over here and dump this without it completely just going everywhere so we'll open this up real quick so i can see exactly what's dumping okay so we do have a front and a back we'll have to deal with that okay yeah so this is what i thought this is what we have but only one of them that's kind of cool that's kind of cool all right production time so here is our wheat there you go two hundred seventy thousand liters that won't be a problem and we want to make flour so we'll come in here and we will go ahead and Activate. We'll actually activate all the things. We'll activate bread as well, even though it's not going to do anything for us. And this is going to spawn the flower. That way we don't have to pay for it to deliver from there to there. We'll just bring a trailer over here every day and we'll auto load some over, which should be just fine. It's bailing time, baby. Let's come in here and make sure that we are on the largest bales, 240 centimeter. And we will definitely unfold because that's what we have to do. And we do what we have to do. Oops, may have forgot. And we'll turn it on. All right. And then just go. We're going to fast farm this as well, but we're going to, well, make straw square bales. So yeah, it's exciting, but not crazy. You know what I mean? Almost done with this field now. Figured you guys didn't want to just sit here and watch me bail the entire time. Uh, and I'm guessing I was right. <laughs> we also have a harvester that uh, uh, looks like they're about done. So that makes me very, very happy. I think they're on their last run. So... Perfect timing to kind of swap places. And then the grain mill will have everything it needs to do, well, everything that it needs to do. We'll go ahead and boop, pop that one out. How many bills do we make? 24 on this field. Not too bad, not too bad. One thing I will say, I remember why I hate short, or not short, slow tractors. Oh my goodness. I do everything fast and uh, this tractor doesn't do anything fast. All right, a couple things right off the bat. That's quite a bit of grain to miss because of these scary looking trees right here. So what we will do is find them and absolutely destroy them. That'll that'll save us some time later. Also, with stuff like this, if you can't find them, boop, go underground. Uh, I promise you, you'll find them under here somewhere. All right, let's see if we can do this. Hang on, give me, give me a second. By the looks of it, our combine harvester did miss a little bit on the other end as well, but not due to plants, just, oh, maybe due to plants. Yeah, I see a few down there. We'll, uh, we'll get it taken care of, slowly but surely. Uh, Julian F. did a really, really killer job with this map, but there are a few places where um, you wouldn't normally see things. Then again, uh, I think this is his first map that he's ever made. Ever. I'd say he did okay. All right. Also, I have traffic turned off. I ain't dealing with any traffic. I don't even know if there is traffic on here, but there ain't today. <laughs> So we're gonna do both of these. Hopefully he doesn't have to make, okay, he's gonna have to make three trips. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> number one, let's get ourselves a new uh, grain tank. Oh, there is this. So uh, it holds a little bit more than, 
maybe is uh, respectable and everything, but you know what? It's 35 grand, and I bet we could sell the trailer we got now and do pretty well, and this would be very good for us for a long time. I found the, the what I think is the reset point for vehicles. Uh, or, or I just made a really, really big mess with uh, store deliveries. I don't know. Let's find out. Did I make a mess of store deliveries and, and accidentally hide the semi-truck from myself? I did. I'm an idiot, is what I am. So, cool thing, this only cost us like 30-something grand, and the other one sold for 60, which I find unbelievable, to say the very least. But, we got a triple hopper now. And, it can carry a whole lot more. I believe this carries several... Uh, too much. <laughs> Too much. Yeah, it, it carries half a million liters in all three zones. I, I might have to go in and modify that a little bit to carry just slightly less. But a long trailer does look better. And the rest is in. So let's take a look at our grain mill and see what we've got to expect from it. 125,000 liters in and uh, flowers out. So it's five to four ratio. So we'll be getting uh, one less. Yeah, we're getting like 20% less in flour that we put in still not bad though man and now for the uh well i guess next to final thing that we need to do today get all this straw finally picked up so i'm going to bail up all this straw just like we did with the other field we'll come through collect it sell it i think we'll be good and we are done finally yeah so we got up uh, was that 29 percent left in there something like that usually i would take this opportunity to uh, you know, cheat in a little bit and get an extra bill out of it, but I'm not going to do that today. Can't tell you why, I just don't feel like it. So in total, we've gotten a total of 57 total, total bales. Said that way too many times. And we need to find a way to easily transport 57 bales from point A to point B. And I'm not sure that statement has a correct answer. I take that back. I think we can, uh, I think we could do this. And there's something even cooler that I want to show you. Look at this. All right, I didn't plan this, but there's a 3,500 and two different 3,500 beds in here that I think we could utilize. First things first, though, of course, uh, this. Oh, wait, can I pick this up? I can. <laughs> uh, we don't need this anymore, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, get rid of that. Interesting color choice on the 3,500, but I'm probably going to change this just a little bit. So we spent a little bit of money. Uh, I think about half of what we had to actually be available to spend. But we've now got a nice, nice, really nice truck right here. And we went with duels so we could run really heavy load in the back as well. Uh, I don't think it has straps. Oh, it does have straps. But it's also bail auto load. So we will have to be careful with that. We should be able to pick these up without a problem, but I'm going to go pick up the other field first. Stick it into operating position and boop, boop. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Easy, easy bail auto loading. Oh, if only it was this easy in real life. All right, there's our 30 and it is... Uh, not being bogged down, but it is pretty low, but we do have the big engine in here, so we're good to go. Where are we going to take this? Let's find this, find straw. You gotta be kidding me. I made all of that and there's nowhere to sell it. Oh boy. Well, there's a couple ways we could play this, but I'm going to play it the way of, I'm going to put down my own sell anything station. So it looks like we can come into this area from a couple different ways. So what I may do is either on this side or this side, put a selling anything station. So I'll go into productions, my sell points. I got my sell everything station right here. And we will boop, 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 boop until we could find a great place for it without being covered up. Actually, over here would be super cool, but that's not going to work out. So we'll do it like uh, right in here. Wabam! Let's see if we can get in and out of here without any trouble. I am leaving the help window on just because I might need help myself. Go up through by right here. We want to unload bales. We can move them left to right, but we're going to unload them directly onto the trailer. And then pull forwards. And it's working! Okay! Nice, nice, nice. Money is good. Money's pretty darn... Pretty darn good. 40, uh-oh, I hit the stuff. $40,000. All right, so 
for pretty much what we paid for this, we did okay. Let's turn around and do it again. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm gonna have to be careful because all of these bushes are actually trees under the map. We almost didn't have enough, but we got it right here. 27 bells, time to be delivered. And this is actually going to be the last thing that we do at least for today. It's been a lot of fun. I've had a great time. And I'm really happy that we chose this map to do the new series on. So, hope you're enjoying it so far. And if you're watching the, uh, the long, long supercuts later on, well, say a minute. Because we get to start with $124,000. Oh boy, I wonder how we're going to spend that. Richless Ohio, day number two. And today is going to be all about getting these fields ready to go for, well, getting seed in them again. We are going to fertilize. We may need to go through and plow. I need to double check that. I think I turned that off. And we've also got to put, well, the seed in the ground. So I got to figure out what we've got. And also, I think we need to maybe focus on getting things done a little bit more efficient i'll explain what i mean yesterday we got a lot of work done with this tractor right here the 4755 i do like this tractor it is a nice tractor we've also got this the massey ferguson um i i don't know i pulled a header trailer with it and there's really nothing else i've got that this will work with so uh we're well i'm gonna i'm i'm a <clears throat> I'm gonna make it disappear magically. I think there's a couple uh, attachments right here that work with that as well. We'll go and get rid of that. The front loader for it, of course, because that's not gonna service anything. And to be fair, I'm not really sure what this is gonna do for us either. And we can get a decent amount of money for it, so we're gonna take it, which puts us over 200 grand. And this tractor is the reason for that. Um, a six elm has popped up in the used sale market. And so I think it, it, I, I don't want to just buy a bunch of John Deere, but it just happens that a faster, more powerful tractor is available for us. Oh, wait, no. That, that only goes 24 miles an hour as well? Oh, that sucks. Okay, so there's also this. Now, this is going to cost us a little bit more, but we've basically got double the amount of horsepower, and uh, I think that's going to be okay. Yeah, uh, we could also bump this up to, what was it, 313 horsepower overall. So this kind of gets us out of that John Deere rut, puts us uh, in line with some nice wheels here. Of course, we go with the Michelins on this map, American map. I think this is, I think this is the move. It's only, what, what did I say, about 30 grand more than the John Deere and double the horsepower to start with. So, New Holland. It's on the farm, baby. One thing we will need to do is go ahead and repair. That way it's at least good to go there. And now we're down to $57,000. So we've got spraying that needs to be done and we've got seeding that needs to be done. So I think we'll uh, start off with the sprayer. It's not a bad size for this either. As we've been doing for most of the series recently, we are doing liquid fertilizer on here. I would do uh, solid fertilizer, but Eh? I don't don't care to I guess I don't know I don't have an excuse but but we are gonna go ahead and spray this down one time well this has been nice going full speed again that feels pretty good also there's some straw still on the ground don't know what's going on with that I could pick it up but I'm not going to but what I am gonna do is go ahead and hit our other field real fast as for the fertilizing and uh, everything I'm sure there's a very nice mathematical equation to tell me how much and what I'm going to get for everything. Well, oh, this also does fertilizer. Oh, that's, that's not, that's not what I want. Uh, is there a version of this without fertilizer? Ah, yes. Seeding options mod to the rescue. There we go. Seed only. Uh, you guys probably know I like doing direct drill and I like to be able to put the seed in and fertilizer separately. It allows me to do everything and I make three passes, but allows me to get everything quite literally everything done in one single run and be finished with it. Now, the next bit is gonna suck because I have to do this in six meter increments, so that's gonna be fun. Another thing we need to do is figure out with our production chains, oh, bread's not running. Oh, there's no flour and it's barely made any, ah, never mind. Anyway, so I need to figure out which one of these is gonna give me the best return on our flour so we can continue making bread and continue making more money. So uh, wheat is four to so a 20% loss. Then we have the uh, 30 liters of barley in, but only 20 
three out. Now that is like a quarter, roughly. That's a lot to lose. That's a little bit more than 25%. However, with oats, 15 liters of oats in, we get 19 liters out. And sorghum is 15 to 1. So, I think it's pretty obvious what we're going to pick. And if anyone is absolutely floored by the fact that I'm doing oats, well, yeah, of course I'm doing oats. What, what else did you think I was going to do? Come on. We had another thing with this map. Some of the field is overlaid like a little bit far over from where you would expect it so uh, don't be afraid to get kind of close to the fencing through here and even up by the road as well up through here there's definitely some uh some spaces that are overlaid by grass but you could feel uh i mean you can see you put the field right over it you're good to go here's another thing that i've kind of not been putting off but i haven't really noticed a whole lot is well we have a lot of animals here so we've got, uh, what, 10 different chickens. We got 80 cows. Uh, we have 60 bucks each. That's <laughs> not good. Uh, and then we have a couple horses as well, which are 120 bucks each. Now, I would like to uh, sell some of these because I don't need the chickens. And I really don't need the horses either. I'm not going to do anything with them. However, I wonder if there's a way where I can hang on to the cows and just feed them uh, you know, whatever they need or whatever I can get them. For the time being until uh well, until i've got other things to feed them maybe we could buy stuff from the buy anything station and maybe make a little extra cash on milk i don't know maybe it's a good place to start regardless of what we do i'm gonna let this guy uh do his job don't don't mess up dude don't mess up first stop horses let's go ahead and get these guys sold i'm i'm sure you want to be here but you're getting you're getting sold man <laughs> There we go. Wait, hang on. Did, is there another one in there? Okay, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, so we made 300. Not even enough. There's not a comma in it in Farm Sim. It, does it really matter? Stop number two. Going to be over to the chickens. And he is like, no, no, no. Don't take me. We're going to take you in. We're going we're gonna to sell you is what we're going to do. There we go. There's uh-huh and uh-huh. Goodbye, chickens. $40 for all of them. <laughs> Now, cows, on the other hand, this could be a little bit different of a, well, not game changer, but definitely of a different story because we've got all these cattle. We have 80 head of cattle. Do you know how expensive 80 head of cattle is? Pretty darn expensive, actually. So I'm thinking maybe we don't sell those for the, I think, three or four grand that we can get for them. Instead, let's see if we can find a way to feed them. And, and keep them. Except for this weird brown Swiss. Uh, oh, it's a baby. Oh, it's a baby. Select. Sell. Goodbye. Because 79 is a weird number. Let's go ahead and buy an extra one for 250. There we go. All right. We have 80 little baby cows. Putting down a few placeables. If we're going to feed these cows, we need to put this down. The buy anything. Don't ask me what it is. Just give it to me. Station. There we go. We need that. I've also put a silo over there so we could store our extra TMR. But we need a trailer to, to put TMR in. Remember when I said I hope this guy's not an idiot? He stopped literally after the second pass. Urgh! I found a truck. And I think this will do the job just fine. Let's go up here and we'll fill it up. Well, okay. When I say fill it up easy there all right i don't know how much food they're gonna take i should probably go double check that real quick let's see animals oh great there's no uh there's no out of number cool all right well let's just find a tmr in here and uh let's see also cool this doesn't this doesn't hold tmr so much fun today so this is gonna be a tough uh tough buy right here i could lease for a thousand dollars which is gonna bring us down to 50 or i could buy it for, for twenty thousand dollars now this would give me a tipper that i could do other stuff with and i'm probably gonna have to feed those cows at least once every two or three days so i think having something like this overall might be best especially if i'm going to be running a, another gooseneck trailer so we'll go ahead and buy that we'll find out how much delivery cost was Eh, not that bad. I'm not even going to complain. 
and we'll hook it up. Now it looks like I'm supposed to be here. And the great thing is, I know that this trailer will work. The only thing I forgot about is it's going to have to tip. Oh boy. Um, is, is there a green door? <laughs> tip side back. Unload at 20 degrees. Oh, I hope that's the right one. Let's let's go in here and let's find ourselves some some TMR. Yeah, baby. Uh, hopefully it's not too expensive either. Oh, it's a little bit expensive. We'll, we'll get a uh, 30 30,000 liters. Nah, now nah, let's let's get about 50,000 liters. We'll go from there. So this is as far in as I can get with the tip trigger. So let's see. It says 20 degrees. 20 degrees is still pretty. Oh boy. Um, still pretty high oh it took all of that oh um huh <laughs> what's the uh, trucker Matsy? what what capacity did you mod this thing to hold goodness would you add all the zeros yes yes he did we're also gonna need straw because i was an absolute idiot and uh got rid of all of the straw that we had <laughs> Could have kept it, but no. Uh, we'll bring this in as well. I'm guessing we could put it at the same place. My guesses are correct. And this should dump out pretty quickly. And it has already, already done. Okay, for right now, that's about all I can handle with that because we are, ooh, we've spent about half of our money. Let's go and yeet out of there. Head back over to the farm. Perfect timing as well, I see. Idiot number one forgot to finish his job. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this field by myself, and then we will reconvene whenever we're ready to start the second field. And here we go. We are off working on our second field. Now, one thing between me and you guys, I, I think that the cedar needs to be uh, ramped up just a little bit. I like this one, but we, uh, it'd be nice to have another one. Harvester, I'm really happy with. It's probably going to be a while before we have to upgrade that. That being said, I think something that would help us more than anything would be a second, third, fourth, fifth field, something like that. Uh, it would be nice to have extra fields. Oh boy, I didn't hit the right buttons at the right times. Uh, it would be nice to have uh, to have some extra fields. So maybe eventually we'll buy one of these extra fields down here and plow them together, something like that. Uh, it actually has some really good fields that you can plow together. I apologize for the lagginess, but... It is what it is. They're here. Now it's time to try and take back some of the uh, money that has been lost. We're going to involve ourselves in some contracts. So we're going to accept a 22000 and a $35,000 contract. Now we could do cultivating. <laughs> uh, and we could also do some fertilizing. Or not fertilizing. Harvesting as well. There's actually some decent harvesting contracts in here. But uh, I'm good. And then we also have a... For, or a sewing contract for field 27. Where's field 27 at? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, no thank you. However, fertilizing, we can do. So hopefully uh, we do okay because this field is full of corn and I'm gonna have a really, or sunflowers rather, I'm gonna have a really hard time figuring out where I am. So I'm hoping I could just kind of hire a worker and be done with it. Let's see if we can even do that. I'm guessing we can, at least down here on the first straightaway, but upgrading this sprayer, if it was just one big sprayer, it'd be fine. But I think we may end up running into a few problems uh, once we get down near the end. So let's go ahead and hire a worker, and let's go ahead and enable fast farming. It's only going to do it at 19 miles an hour, but at least it's a big sprayer. So it could be worse. And after one pass, it is looking like a... I don't, I don't know what that looks like, but... But it's after one pass. Yep. All right. So now after one pass, we've got to find the lighter color version in the part that's not pixelated out on the edge. And go for it. All right. Worker's been hired. I shouldn't have to do anything with this for a while. Speaking of workers being hired and not having to do anything, this one's doing pretty good at six meters. So I'm going to go eat lunch, and I'll be back in a minute. Lunch time is over. I'm going to come through and hit these little spots right here. I do have a mod where any time I come through with a cedar or a uh, planter, it will go ahead and roll the, the field for me. It's kind of nice. It keeps me from having to do that, but it still gets done, even though I wasn't going to do it in the first place. I ain't going to mulch either. Um, yeah, there we go. Kaboom. Ba-boom. Ba-boom. 
But boom take a look at uh, down here real quick. Uh, okay. There are a couple little spots at the other end. So just got a notification that uh, workers finished their task. Does this look done to you? <laughs> it's this something tells me idiot got himself stuck and I'm not going to be able to get him out. Um, uh, I can, I can get him unstuck. Man, don't, don't go down there and play in the water. Dummy. Well, I guess the good thing is seating. It's done, and I'm about to go retire that John Deere of his services because, well, this will get it done twice as fast. Almost. Man, I know you guys can't see this either, the video, but, oh, I'm having just a devil of a time trying to find where this dude has done and hasn't done. Uh, he's also hasn't done quite a bit of this. But the good thing is, uh, I think, at least for this contract, we are pretty close to being completed. Yeah, it's 99% done which is great. Hey, there it is. Contract's done. Give me the money. I'm out of here, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that actually feels a lot better. <laughs> Back over 50 grand now. Fortunately for us, field 32, square field. <laughs> Thank goodness. That should be just hire worker, be done. And it's in corn, <laughs> which is a whole lot easier to see as well, especially at this growth stage. Yo, look at this corn texture. It looks good. One thing that makes this field particularly tough, field 32, is all the trees around it. It is almost impossible to run a headland with a worker. Uh, I've had to go around this almost constantly because every time I get just a little bit too um, excitable, I guess, and it goes a little too close to a tree, the worker stops. So they, the worker just wants to stop a turn around is what they want to do because they think there's something in the way but there's not. It's beautiful. It does make for a little bit more of a difficult turn though. As we get close to completion for today, one of the last things we're gonna do is go ahead and move over one pallet of, of uh, flour. Now I could have put over one of our bits over there so the skid steer could have used that, but why do that when I've got full access to auto load and all kinds of goodies like that. I'm gonna be using the same mod that I was able to use for auto loading logs on Silver Run Forest. So the universal auto load. And uh, that should work just uh, on the back of this this here trailer. I should just pull up and go boop. Pull up. Uh, aha, yeah. Helps if you select the right thing, doesn't it? Yes, it does. All right, and then we'll just bring it right here. And it shall take it. Nice. And we come in here to take a look up here. Thousand liters in. So uh, we're right there. So <laughs> still waiting. But we got more coming. We could probably just leave this right here for now. Because I doubt we're going to have to use it for anything between now and whenever whatever comes after now and our contract has been completed we'll go in here and go and select that so now we have increased the amount of money by about 55 ish 55 57 thousand dollars i feel i feel much more confident now than i did then one thing the last thing i need to do is find my way back home Oop, stay on the road and i need to do what i just did to my fields because none of my fields have fertilizer on yet. We'll put the last one down and then we really won't have much to do again until harvest. So uh, we will just kind of move forward and we'll figure out what we need to do each day from there. If there's anything at all. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to day three here on Richlands, Ohio. Or is it Ohio Richlands? I don't know. But what I do know is that we have flour and we are about to go take this and get it loaded up. We're using the universal auto load, which is available for PC and Mac. And we're going to move it about 25 feet. Oh, there's more. Can I load more? Negative. <laughs> All right, we'll back up and do this the, uh, the long way. Flower stocks have to air. Shut up. I can't. No, I can back up. I'm I'm the best backwards driver in farm sim. There we go. Nice and easy. So this is going to well keep us from having to spend so much money on distributing. Plus, it's not going very far, so why worry too much about it? Um, it said we had 4,000 in storage, but I think it was just these extra four pallets right here. 
which is totally fine with me. And of course, uh, one pallet of flour does not make bread. So we're gonna have to wait a little while for the bread. Speaking of the bread, I'm thinking I put this maybe down in a bad position <laughs> because I can't put a vehicle in there. Can I delete that? Nope, it doesn't exist. All right, yeah, we're like halfway there though. We got 500 liters of bread in there, but we got another 10,000 liters of flour in it. I think we'll be good for now at least. Taking a look at our cattle as well, you could see of the 50-ish thousand liters that we put in of TMR, uh, they've used, well, like 4,000 liters overnight and straw is kind of similar to it. Of course, there is no milk because they are not adult cattle. Uh, they're only, well, one month old. And then slurry, we got about 3,400 liters there. That's fine. Uh, later on, hopefully we'll be able to put down some pumps and hoses uh, stuff. And that'll make that kind of fun. So since we had such good luck with bales in one of the last episodes, I think what I'm going to do is take on a harvesting contract that's over here near everything. So we've got field number nine right here. It's not too far away from our main farm. Uh, it is wheat, so that makes it nice and easy. We know exactly what's going to be there. Uh, we also have one down here of oats as well. Oats would be great for resale and things like that. But uh, I think this might be the easiest one because it's not too big. So let's work smarter, not harder. And we're gonna take everything over, not in one go, but we're gonna do uh, everything that we can. We're also gonna open up this trailer a little bit, but I don't remember how to do that. Best backwards driver in farm sim, best backwards driver in farm sim, best backwards driver in farm sim, yeah! Got it! And it's a, uh, it's a John Deere, that's what it is. Oops. My bad. All right, well, we'll get everything loaded up here and be just fine. I can't figure out how to open the sides of the trailer. For some reason, they're just not wanting to work for me, but you know what? That's okay. We're good here. Ha 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 ha. Let's go, baby. We're we'll going to lock it down. That way it can't go nowhere. And we will go ahead and bring up the tail. And of course, I try and do something cool and it doesn't work. You know, I try to do something cool, but no. Nope, can't do it, can't do it at all. So we just have to do everything, well, the, the, the normal way. Also, speaking of normal way. All right, so the header that we've got on our combine, let's take a look at that because I wanna show you guys something really neat. So we'll take a look at the combine. We've got a 7.6 meter working with, okay? Well, our baler will only pick up like, and what, a half meter, meter in the middle? I think we can help them with that. So this is something new that just dropped not long ago, and it is the trailed windrower from Hispano Modding. So I think now's a great time to check it out. If our, our windrows are 7.6 meters, that means um, there'll be about seven-ish meters between the two. Well, I think 12 meters should <laughs> be just fine. We'll actually almost be hit two, I think at that point. Maybe we'll go down to 10 just to be safe and sane. So we'll do that. Will Brands uh, doesn't really matter as long as it doesn't charge me more, I don't care. We are using Michelin on this map, so we'll go Michelin tires. Then branded decals, uh, we'll, we'll hit it with the new Holland. Actually, you know, we got John Deere on the back. Let's, let's go with John Deere. Working lights, no, we do everything John Deere. New Holland it is. So we're not buying this. We're just gonna lease it, 2,300 bucks. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get that, and I have no idea where it went. Found it! <laughs> All right, so this goes in between the tractor and the mower. So, or the tractor and the baler. So we'll take that, flip it around, do the thing, and I really, really, really hope that I didn't mess anything up when it comes to, <laughs> to the window at the end. Get it? Got it. Heck yeah, man. I think this is gonna work. First things first, though. We got a harvest, so we'll enable our fast farming mode and go. So this is a contract. So we will need to be very, very, very careful on how much we sell, how much we get rid of, how much goes here and there, et cetera, et cetera. I would like to keep as much of the grain as possible, but um, today, today, straw is what we're after. And it certainly doesn't hurt that this is a very, very square field. Down here at the end, since I'm going so fast, I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit. This helps the worker not completely die when they get to the end. And I will fire the worker once we get to the end as well. That makes things a little bit easier on me. And I think it makes things a little bit easier on the harvester as well. We'll try and set this on a worker going here. Just getting some straight lines, but I don't know 
if this is gonna work or not. There's just maybe a little bit too much here on the edge. Also, uh, I've done something I have not done in years, probably three or four years at least. Uh, I have, oh yeah, and three, three headlines here at the end. Uh, I have deleted a bunch of mods, a bunch of tools, a couple vehicles, not much net yet. I haven't taken the time to actually sit down with the vehicles yet, but I deleted 1,342 mods. Yep. So uh, a lot of those like bell trailers, tipper trailers, uh, tatters, windrows, plows, cultivators. So, so there's stuff that, well, let's be honest, I'm probably not going to use them anyway, ever. I just deleted all of them. Game's running a little bit more smooth, which is nice. Um, not that I was having drastic problems before, but it's working okay. So, um, yeah, I'm also on PC. Most of you guys know that, but some people ask still here and there. So, let you guys know nonetheless. Playing on PC. Um, no, uh, no issues today. This is the first gameplay I've done since I deleted all the mods. We'll see how things continue. We'll go ahead and finish up with this headland, and then it's... It's bailing time, baby. Here we are at the end of the first headland, at least the way that I'm going to do it on this big, long, narrow field. Yes, sir. 23,000 liters. Now, uh, when I selected the contract, of course, because, you know, sometimes I do cheaty stuff. When I selected the contract, there was only, like, just the crop on the ground. It hadn't been... Nothing was done to it. So, I may have done some stuff why am i up in the air uh i may have made it you know fertilized and this and that yada 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 well i'm hoping that that doesn't mess anything up i may want to keep track of this uh so after one headland it says that i've done 28 percent as you know uh i think we've doubled the amount of <laughs> stuff so we may actually come out on top here and i may have found a new way to cheat I will keep you informed. If so, um, I'm not going to stop me. <laughs> Are you going to stop me? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's time to use this. Let's unfold. We'll go and unfold the baler as well and drop the baler down. Flip it around. Hopefully this is wide enough. Hopefully I did my math correctly. Um... <clears throat> yeah, it is. Might have some trouble at the end, though, but I think we're okay. We'll go ahead and drop that all the way down. We will turn it on, enable fast farming, because that is what I do. Don't have access to this land. Oh, yeah. Um, so there is a thing with windrows that I've just now remembered. You can't use them on land that, that you don't own on these things. You can pick up the, the bales. You can pick up the straw. But you can't... You can't do it this way. So... So we're back to back to square one again. Making bales the old-fashioned way. And here I thought everything was going to go just fine today. <laughs> Far from it, right? Far from it. I'm going to keep you guys here just to make sure that this still works. Hopefully I didn't delete the wrong mod. No, nah, we're still good. We're still picking it up, but yeah, that's a that's gonna have to go back home. So one of the big reasons why I wanted that windrow is so that I could actually run multiple different runs at the ends and through and through. I'd get everything done twice as fast. But that that ain't that ain't gonna happen. Nope, not even a little bit. I also need to make sure I drop these bells close-ish enough to the field. There we go. That'll that'll be just fine right there. Trying to do that. No bales here on the ends. That way, our worker, idiot number one up there, doesn't run into any bales. Because if it even touches one, he'll say, Uh, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore, man. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, real quick, I think I told you guys this. But these balers right here, this John Deere baler and the Corona baler that matches it, these guys actually pick up a little bit further out to the sides than it says they do. Did you see that? They just kind of picked it all up at the same time. I love that. So if you guys are using these, definitely, 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 uh, well, use them. Yeah. All right. Let's 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 see how much we can get done before we catch up to our combine harvester over there. I am not even done with this first bit yet. And I just got a notification saying that the contract is 40% completed. Now I'm going to show you this. I want to show you what we've done. Obviously, that's not 40%. Or maybe it is, I don't know. But I can tell you that down here, 
We've done 41%. Also, we're delivering right across the road, so that makes things real easy, too. Here's another DJ Goham tips and tricks when it comes to <laughs> doing bailing. You see this massive bit down here at the end? If I go straight down the center, it's not going to work. However, I'm going to go off to the left a little bit, just like that. Now, I've left a single little area for me to pick up later on instead of two areas on the side. So, uh, one less bit that you have to come and clean up later if you want all the straw. I know some people just plow right through it and don't care. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's take a look real quick. Yeah, <laughs> 69% done. Nice. Uh, we, we are looking pretty good. We've made a bunch of bells. Let's see. Let's take a look see how many we made today in game. Um, I don't think that's right. I don't think we've made 94 bells. Uh, or 95 bells uh, in this exact one. Maybe I should have reset the bell counter. Yeah, I definitely should have reset the bell counter. That's definitely also something I don't know how to do. Figured it out. I gotta do this. Shut up. Carding time has begun. We have gotten through this, basically this whole field. 70% of this contract Without even, oh yeah, that's right. There's 23,000 liters in here. So we've gotten over 100,000 liters already. Uh, let's see if I can keep up with this guy because that is going to be a chore. These trucks do not like to do anything having to do with driving in a field. And this is a base game truck right here. Definitely not one that's been modified. Later on, we will upgrade for sure. But for now, this seems to be filling up a okay. All right, should be about done in a minute. Maybe, maybe. There it is. Full. I will be honest, even throughout this entire field, I have not been able to catch up to the combine harvester. But of course, we're fast farming, so there is that. And I'm not picking up straw at twice the speed that I thought I was going to be. So there is that as well. And, and I went and maybe got a Coca-Cola because I was, I was <laughs> yawning a little bit. It's early Saturday morning for me right now. We're picking everything up. We're doing just fine. A lot of bells, man. We have, we are doing very, very well on bells. I would be shocked to see if we didn't make close to $100,000 total on all of the bells that we've got. As far as grain, that's going to be something a little bit different. You can see we've just hit 80% on the uh, uh, harvest itself. So we will, uh, we will have to sell some of that. I was kind of looking at it going, hmm, I wonder if we could just harvest this entire field and not have to give them any of the grain back. But that's not going to be something that we could do. We will do a little trick that I used to Farming Simulator 19, though, uh, and uh, sell it slowly. Although, generally, you have to give back about 90 to 95% of all the grain that you picked up off the field. Uh, and it looks like we're going to have to do the same thing here. Our dude did miss a little bit down here, though, didn't he? Yeah, he did. All right, there's that. I have taken full control back over yet again. And I'm going to go through here and kind of hit a few of these little spots. May as well. I mean, coming through here, we've got uh, <laughs> we've got some straw we got to pick up later anyway. Yeah, there you go. So this isn't really much on the workers. They've, they've done okay. The workers are fine. I think this is more on just the, the angle and things like that. There we go. Okay. So we've gotten everything picked up. I think we've gotten a total of like four liters off of all of that. Let's go dump it. And then we will finish picking up all of these bales. Wee! Yay! Getting... <laughs> this is... This is how you do it right here. Get out of here, Bell. All right. So we have our total number. 57 bales were produced today. Nice. Wait. 57 bells produced? No, that was 57 bells produced on the other one. So if I take 57 minus, or if 115 minus 57, I get a number, which is what my number is. I'm not doing that math. Just so we're clear, it's 58. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I just play one on TV. <laughs> and now for the fun part, my favorite part, loading up and picking up bells. Boop, boop, and boop. All right, let's do that 54 more times. Bell sale number one. So I, I will go back on what I did say. We, uh, we're we definitely not going to be doubling the amount of bells that we... Well, we do, did double it, but we're not going to make $100,000 on bells. There's just... It is not a thing that's going to happen, but we'll do okay, and that's pretty good. All right, 40000 there. We'll make a little bit less than that because we'll have two less bells on the next trip. 
but that's still not bad. The thing is as well, is this contract's only paying out $16,000, so anything that we can make over that is pure profit. And plus, this has taken me a long time in real life, even cheating. This is taking a while. Remember how I said we made 58 bills? Um, well, I got 57 here. <laughs> or 27, sorry. So 57 to, oh. Shit, I, nothing. I didn't lose a bell. You lost a bell and, and I found it. Yep, that's how that happened. And let's do the whole selling all this thing again. We made 40 grand last time, so I expect to make somewhere around 35 to 36, something like that. 38, I'll take it. That's more than I suspected. So uh, $78,000 just in bells. It's pretty good. We're over 160 grand now. That's gonna help a lot. Something else we need to be focusing on heavily is keeping both of these productions fed. We need to make sure that both of these are ready to go, good to go, and have everything they need constantly. Because if they don't, then, well, I guess they don't. We've actually got one here. I wonder if this trailer will auto load them. I don't think that it, oh my goodness, it will. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. So I guess we'll go ahead and park this up right over here because I plan on utilizing this area heavily. So since we're not doing season cycles, uh, we are doing, well, cycles, but we're not doing seasons, growth calendar, anything like that with this save. Um, I think we may have a good opportunity at least with things to do that. Um, let's, let's do this. We have 126,000 liters in here. This is going to be, oh boy, I parked it in a ditch. Go, 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 go. Got it. Uh, well, we should be able to feed the uh, grain mill pretty heavily daily, maybe, every other day. I don't want to do a harvesting contract every day because that would suck. But I think we might be able to do... Hang on just a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, so that's a Chevy without a thing. That's a Dodge without a thing on the front of it. That's actually... A Dodge with a cow on the front, another one, and then another, another little Chevrolet S10. Those are real cars, man. I see you. Do a quick just in case right before we do everything. So we are at the Ohio Group. Oh, yeah, I said 16. No, 12,000 for all that work. Not worth it, by the way. Ohio <laughs> Agri Core. Where are we at? Let's take a look here. Click Ohio Agri Core. Cool. So I'm going to sell maybe about half of this. So we'll get down to 80,000 liters, 60, yeah, 60,000 liters. I can do math. Hush. <laughs> and then we will go from there. So 50% has been transported. So from there to there. So now let's take this down to about uh, 50,000 liters. About there. 94% has been transported, so now I'm going to go very, very easily. I'm going to basically let it run for a second. Ah, well, there you go. So we made a lot off of that field. 53,000 liters, which I think might be more than we made off of our other harvesting contract. And that is going to go right in here. Um, cheating! Does it work? Yes. Is it worth it? Well, yeah, of course it is. Well, at least in farm sim. Welcome back to Ohio. This is day four as a pretend farmer. Today we're going to work, well, we're gonna start with fertilizing at least. The field that we did yesterday in uh, number three, well, it needs fertilizing now. Take a look at this. Totally accepting that contract. Well, we'll also take a look at some other things, but I think uh, at least for now, <laughs> field three and field 11, uh, what is that? Fill with seeds? What is that? Sewing? Contract sewing. I don't understand. Use your equipment or lease the equipment or rewards reduced by blah, 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 blah. But, oh, wheat. I should probably read that. Sorghum and wheat. Field three and field 11. Huh. How big are those fields? Here's field three. That's pretty big. And the field 11's around here somewhere. Ah, field number 11's over here. One great thing, the field numbers do not make sense of where they're at. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to say no to both of those. Not with a six meter cedar. Uh -uh. So I think for now, we will just go ahead and do some fertilizing <laughs> and be done with it. I will say I would love to, uh, I would love, 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 love 
to have our own field. But like, look at this. They're, they're all over the place. Like, that's 330,000. That's 1.9 million, 630,000. I mean, it's, well, say they're not all over the place. They're expensive is what they are. So I would love to find an area where, uh, like this, 1, 9, and 14, or, or 1, 6, and 28. Ugh, the giant's doing that. That's really annoying. Uh, that would be kind of cool to make all of those one big field. That would be all right with me. Two out of four is like 600,000 equals about the same amount as this. Makes sense. But I'm still not quite sure if, if and when we're going to be able to, to make that kind of money. I have no idea. We're, uh, we're just going to have to settle with it. Also, fast farm. Whoop, whoop. Went ahead and took on field 18 as well. We jump up here and see that. Ba -bo -ba -bo. Great thing is, field 18 is like a joining field right up at the top of the uh, road. So that makes it nice and easy. And I'm done with my headless. Now I can hire the worker and be done done with it actually see that little field very top middle of your screen right now that's field 18 we'll just go boop 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 be done with it uh what is that 18 19 almost twenty thousand dollars hey we've only got 162 so that's a lot of money to me contract on field nine has been completed now it is time to jump over here to our next field and have a little bit of fun we're also going to go ahead and complete that and we are good to go. I'm not going to do any cultivating, nothing like that. Field 13 is okay, but field 13 is all the way down at the bottom of the map. Takes some driving time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, hit the brakes! There you go, and we're done. There you go. Little bit of extra cash in the bank. And I think at this point, instead of trying to waste time trying to find something to do, I think we're just going to fast forward to the next day. And we will see what October brings us. Probably uh, strobe light trees, because I've already started to see a few. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. How, how good we could do. 69 FPS. Nice. And here we are into October. And look at this. We got our first bit of bread. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, let's uh, jump into this truck, which I totally could have run to faster. And let's take... All of the oats, all oats, this, this stuff. Uh oh, oh, that's not good. Um, so why is that doing that? Um, uh, uh, okay. What you guys just saw that, right? That wasn't just me being an idiot. I mean, I'm an idiot, but like, not that bad. <laughs> All right, there we go. We've got some good stuff in there. Let's see. Let's take a look at productions. How are we doing? Well, we've got plenty of wheat left in there. That is good. That is very, very, very good. And then uh, flowers, not awful. It's going down slow, if I'm honest. I think we may need to boost production a little bit, especially, well, no, flour in. We're, we're definitely not going to be maxing out the amount of flour in here. Huh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. Bread. We've almost got another bit of bread there. So let's fast forward time a little bit until one more of these pops up so I can sell both of them. Also, I'm looking at this. We could, hypothetically boost this factory for 55 grand we got 179 right now i'm real tempted because that's gonna double everything granted i'm not sure how fast it's gonna go through we're only getting one or two of these at a day all right so there we go that's good we'll go and bring time down a little bit let's take a look at bread real quick just to make sure we're okay you know what's funny ohio agricorp um tag place <laughs> I could pick these up and move them, and I can, thanks to Yoast modding and his liftable pallets mod. How? Brit, your face isn't accepted here. Yeah. All right, so maybe bread's accepted over here. Yes. Yes, it is. All right, what are we going to get for one pallet? Yo! 50, oh, man. Um, If we can get 10 pallets, that'll pay for the upgrade. And this is two right here. Yay! Uh, I think we should definitely do this. I think it's going to be worth it. We're getting way more uh, flour right now than we can handle to get bread out. So, 
I'm thinking, absolutely. It seems like a no-brainer. There's nothing else we need to buy. Okay, let's do it. Let's upgrade our bakery. Upgrade, 55,000. There you go. Now, the bakery is in stage two. Uh, they've increased pretty much everything, and I believe the cycles per month have also increased as well, which is nice. By the way, this trailer over here, now that I know that that one will auto-load pallets, I have no use for this trailer anymore. There's another 6,800 bucks for free. I wonder where else we could find money. Well, I was gonna say that maybe, just maybe, we could utilize some of the slurry being produced by the cattle. However, the slurry being produced by the cattle is low to say the least. 8,000 liters in three days, so I ain't even gonna worry about that. By the way, food's still okay. They've still got about 40,000 liters of food, 41,000, and they've got just a little bit less than 20,000 liters of straw. So, um, these baby cows are doing just fine. So I'm looking, we've got some great contracts through here. I did take on two of them, which will give us a decent amount of money, about $25,000 or so. 35, sorry. Yeah, math. Math is hard. Field three, field 11, fertilizing. You guys know what it is. Oh yeah, uh, I thought about selling this John Deere as well. It's cool, but I've only used it once and it was because I didn't have the new Holland. <laughs> So I'm thinking maybe trying to sell that before it gets too worthless because I'm only utilizing one tractor at a time right now. Let's let's even take a look and see what the sell price would be for something like this. Please be much, please be much. 90 grand. So I I think I think that 90 grand would be better spent somewhere else or even on like a better used tractor than it would be for something like this. It just goes too slow. Uh, power's there, so no complaints with that, but uh, yeah, yeah, so there's that at least, I guess. But the good thing is right now, we don't need more than one tractor. We only need one. First up's field three, and thank goodness, this has already been harvested, so we don't actually have to deal with anything in here other than some, some uh, sorghum that was maybe missed and we're done at least with this uh field right here i don't remember the other one i need to go to and over here yeah field 11. <laughs> let's fold it up while we're going through let's go ahead and collect that money as well collect it yeah um we're at 252 right now i'm almost considering upgrading those facilities oh i don't know if i want to do that yet and we're here another field nice short sweet to the point after we finish this up, we are going to go ahead and fast forward time again because, well, there ain't much going on. And there we are, contract completed. Let's go ahead and take that money away to 60. Today's just been the day that was, isn't it? All right, I'll see you guys in November. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Strobe Light Trees. I've already seen a few. They're here. Oh, <laughs> they are here. All right. Uh, we are taking out a couple thousand... Uh, couple thousand dollars every single day just for like land and stuff like that a little bit more than i've seen previously in other maps so um just be aware your, your money's not gonna go as far <laughs> here in ohio as you might think that it would so nonetheless we've got flour going in this makes me happy and we have four things of bread to sell today as well that's gonna bring us in um too much money i think is a great way to say that here we go we'll go ahead and uh-oh Boop, 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 boop. Let's go get out of the way of that one. There you go. And one more. There it is. All right, so 4,000 liters of bread here. And we should be getting a decent amount out. I am going to go ahead and take a look. See, what do we got for bread, bread, bread? There we go. So pricing here at Ohio is actually a little bit less than we could get total. So farm shop seems to be the best place for it. And there's our strobe lights. Great. I have been told that this is because of um, the, the, the numbers going below 60. When you've got a lock on 60, back up. When you got a lock on 60, everything seems to be okay. However, well, as you can see, they they slow down a little bit at 60. But then when, when they start going back, it, 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 it. it's annoying and I hate it. <laughs> Strobe light trees was definitely not something I signed up for. And we're here. Farm shop team seems to be over here right where the cattle are. Makes me happy. Hey, uh, 
two uh, two stops at one. I can actually take a look and see how the cattle are doing, which I have not done in, uh, well, since the last time we were here. Okay, look. If bread's not accepted right there, then I don't know what I'm up to. Why are there two sell points for, for different crops? I don't like it. Well, I guess I get to uh, show off how good I am at backwards driving. So there's that at least. All right, give me some good stuff. $22,000. Nice. And we are well on our way to starting to afford our first field. Ugh. We got a little ways to go, though. Double check, take a look here. So we got 35,000 liters of food left, and they've got 17,000 liters of straw left. Probably going to be using less and less of that stuff during this time of uh, everything. Oh, yeah. By the way, harvest. We're ready for harvest. <laughs> that's good. 13,000 liters of slurry. That's good as well. Yeah, we're doing okay, man. We're doing okay. I don't know why that stop sign's on the ground, but it definitely wasn't me that did it. So here's a neat thing. Bottom right hand corner of your screen. I, I must have some type of like advanced field information mod turned on because it's telling me right there. I uh, have the potential to get 34,458 liters of oats off of our field. How neat is that? That's kind of cool. I like that. Potentially, yeah, 5.6 tons per hectare. Land area, 3.59 hectares. Makes sense. Okay. The harvest time is now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to pick up all of the uh, the weed and everything off the ground. Or, sorry, <laughs> the straw. But I do know that we're going to be just fine here. We do need to get out of here, though, because I'm not going to start harvesting in the middle of the field. I think down here... I started this last time, worked pretty well. I think it'll work well here too. And we are off. The great thing about this as well is this is our field. We don't have to worry. Oh, I hate these stupid trees. We don't have to worry about anything crazy happening, anything wild happening. And we definitely don't have to worry about giving any of this back. <laughs> Uh, I think we will do a massive, massive harvesting contract coming up soon because one of the fields nearby us is about ready to go, and it's the biggest field on the map. So we will take a look at that here uh, probably in the next episode, but I am very, very excited about that. So this one's doing well. We're at, uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's not good for harvesting. Crap. A little bit close here, man. A little, little, little bit close on the on this. I don't, uh, everything seems to be just a little bit too close to, to everything else on this map. Love it. Beautiful. Uh, but that one thing, kind of annoying. Ah, yeah. Got, gotta love that strobe light, uh, thing. Tell you what, it makes for a really enjoyable video to watch and a great time gaming. Oof! Well, we're almost done with the field here, and as you can see, we've already got more than a gassed. That was like 34,400 something. We're already up to 35. Give me 35. Yeah, 35. It's close to be fair. It's close. But more is more. And that's awesome to me. All right. So this is one field-ish down. And we got one more field to go. Now let's head over there and get it. Might have forgot to unload everything before I came over here to this other field. But you know what? That is all right. I'm doing my little back and forth thing again. I'm gonna jump out of here real quick and tell me what it says. So, filled on by me, of course. Potential harvest shield, 43,000 liters. All right, I do like that. So a quick update, between the last like clip that I did and this one, uh, th well, it's been, it's been three days in real life and I have uh, gotten some updates to some odds, including the uh, updated, uh, well, let me show you what I mean. Uh, there's a new contract menu and everything for the contract mod that I use. So that's pretty darn cool. And the productions have, uh, upgradable productions has got updated as well. Oh man, two of the biggest mods that I use regularly have gotten recent updates. And there are some big changes in both. Um, the upgradable factories, they're not infinitely upgradable anymore, but, um, upgrading them by 10 times, that'll give us 2.7 million liters of income here. Um, basically add a zero to everything, multiply it by 10, uh, it's 10 times better. 
is what it is. So I think that's going to be more than enough. However, uh, you know, we might play around in the settings some. I mean, what? <laughs> and yeah, I do think it's important to share with you guys kind of what's going on in the background. What mods have been <laughs> installed, what mods have been removed, as I mentioned. There's a whole lot of stuff going on. So now the worker has been hired and they will do the rest of this field for us, meaning that we could jump in here and get to work on some bailing. And before I tried to make the bales pretty and make everything kind of nice and this and that and yada, 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 uh-uh. Not no more. I'm just literally going to go for it and I'm going to get this job done. Um, also, the... the uh, right, I don't know if there's one in here or not, but I really want one. Hang on. So there's actually a Windrow Baylor, one of the new ones right here. Uh, this is the version with the 10.3 meter working width, which would be uh, way more than enough. But we've also got options for uh, 20 meters out here as well. That does increase the price uh, a lot, and we're, we're currently using a $12,000 baler, and this is still 71000 but that's what I want. I want something that I could throw that on. There's actually a mod for it, the, the one we tried to use the other day. Yeah, this thing, the trailed version, I would love to be able to use this and, and buy this, but, and I know we've got the money for it, but I'm trying to buy a field, bro. I'm trying to buy a field, and if I don't spend money and I just get the work done, we can buy a field. But maybe, maybe we'll buy that if we get something maybe a little bit bigger. So let's unfold, let's turn it on, let's double check and make sure we're making 240 centimeter bells. There we go. Um, I'm guessing the last time we made bells, we did 220s and didn't realize it. I'm almost positive that is what happened. Nonetheless, 240 centimeter square bells will make quite a few of them. And uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We want to reset the bell counter as well. Oh, the bell counter is reset. Oh. I don't know how that happened. I didn't do it. I do it too bad. I've already finished one headland and I'm almost done with the second one. And we've already made 10 bells. Actually, uh, this is going to be the 11th one right here. So we are doing uh, a okay. Man, everything's, everything's actually pretty cool. Yeah. How's, uh, how's life over here going? 60,000 liters? Not bad. It's going to take a lot of work going back and forth. That's going to be <clears throat> boring. Um, but we'll do it and we'll have a good time. After that one field, we have 25 bales off of that field. That's pretty darn good, man. We've still got to do this whole bit right here, but I'm okay with it. We're going to get a lot of bales and we should do pretty darn well. And we are done, kind of. Well, the crop, the crop is done with harvest. We only had two fills. Really didn't take a whole long, long time, <laughs> did it? Nah, that nah, was pretty easy. So there's a couple things here that I want to maybe take a look at. So we currently got this, but we don't use it for anything. But we also have both of these. Well, together, this truck and this trailer do one thing. It allows me to haul grain. However, this truck and this trailer allows me to haul equipment. Not well, but it, I could do it. I can also auto load bells and auto load pallets. And this could be hooked up to that truck, giving that truck way more power than, than original. See, so what I could possibly do is just sell these. <laughs> I love having them, but like we get 93 grand for the truck and 17 for the trailer. So if we do that, then we end up with $400,000. And also, that gives us enough money to get close <laughs> to buying our first field. And just like that, we are done. We did make 58 bells, as you guys can see there. Not 57, like we did the last time. However, I do believe that it's because we were almost done make it a bale. So I went ahead and finished it up and popped it out, which is something I said I wouldn't do, but maybe I just didn't do it that one time. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Nonetheless, what we've got left to do today is we need to get all of the bales picked up. So, uh, well, we're kind of set up ready for that. So we'll do that first. It did. We will finish up by delivering all of the oats. Yeah. Sadly, we got a couple bales down here that, uh, 
didn't quite make the cut, unfortunately. Uh, I would strap these down and add them onto it, but that's not the way it works anymore. So we are going to have to come back and pick those up. Bill sale number one has brought us $40,000. While we're over here, I'll go ahead and be nice to take this uh, pallet over because I don't want that to be in our way when we come back over here. And our sale for the second one was with $37,000. So we're now up to $478,000, which again, ain't too bad. That is pretty darn good, dude. Oh, we stuck on the thing again. Come on, pull, baby. Pull. Come on, truck. It ain't gonna happen. Well, it just popped, but I don't think that was supposed to do that. Oh, I'm inside that, aren't I? Sure am. All right, well, uh, uh, we should probably just reset this, huh, and move on. Yep, let's uh, <laughs> leave it behind. Let it go, all right. And our last little bit, sacrificing money now for money later let's go and get this dumped out be done with it oh boy oh boy so there we go oats are in let's go ahead and double check make sure oat flour is good yes it is so eighty thousand liters of oats and 130 something yep that right there uh-huh well uh <laughs> we should definitely upgrade this again but I don't think that's going to happen today. And we are back in Ohio, baby. And we've got a couple things that we need to do today. But mainly, just one up. By the way, I love the liftable pallets mod from Yos. Yeah, that makes everything way too easy. Today, we are going to be taking on a $60,000 harvesting contract on the... I think it's the largest field on the map. Field number... Well, it's... Farmland 11, build eight. It is soybeans and we are going to be doing it today. So, oh yeah, I reset my cash. So it might be a little bit laggy today. I apologize, but hopefully we won't have any more strobe light trees. Fingers crossed. So again, this contract's gonna be paying us about $60,000. Because it's soybeans, and because we're using another mod by Yost, we're using his, uh, uh, I don't care what it is, just give me straw mod. Uh, we are going to be also um, oh boy, uh, we're gonna be doing stuff with the straw, which is gonna take a lot of time. Oh boy, is it gonna take a lot of time. But the great thing is, because we took it on at a, a wonderful time when we actually need a bunch of money right now, because I would love to buy a field, uh, that one's gonna be $1.9 million. Uh, probably not enough for us, but... One of the great things is as well is because we've got the new contract mod, we're going to be getting paid more than we would have. That's good news. And we're also going to be getting the opportunity to get paid. Oh boy. Let's, let's not go into first person right now. We're going to be getting the opportunity to get money off that field whenever we go to buy it later on, which is the game plan. But hopefully we've got a bigger combine harvester between now and then for now. I think we're okay with what we've got. We will need to run at least uh, two, well, I say at least two headlands. We're, we're gonna need to run, run a little bit. We should, we should come up with a game plan real quick. So I need to run a minimum of three back and forths starting there. And then we will uh, head down here and do three back and forths there. We'll go one up through there and then maybe hire a worker. Hmm. I got a better idea. You know, if I was smart, I would actually go in here and utilize some used equipment. So the twin screw, um, that is selling for $78,000 right now. And then we've got the um, Lizard Duras, which is selling for, <laughs> you guys can see, it's it's still a hundred grand. So that would put us back after customization, probably about 200,000 altogether, which I think might be a little bit too much. Um, actually, you know what? 191, 28. It's better than what we have. And bigger. Hang on. You know, this will be the third time that we've actually used this mod. Uh, I've, uh, oh boy. Um, yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit more than I was expecting. Uh, getting that power up to 465. We, we might have to go with a different header because I don't think we're going to have enough horsepower to, to, to do everything. 
Uh, big wheels doesn't matter, so I do like uh, big chunky tires. Numbers don't matter. No oversized sign, no stopper foil, no green star. Um, a longer pipe is preferable, but I think a short one's probably going to be okay. We will modify that if we have to. Lights, don't need that. Main color, this is just for the top. We'll go with black. And I think we're good. And this is the header we're going to go with. Uh, it is much cheaper than the other one because we don't have the power to do that. So we're going to go with this. The uh, Echo Power Flow 40 foot. This is part of a, a, a mod pack. I do Challenger Fent or Massey Ferguson. I'm thinking Challenger just to match the side. Yeah, that'll do. Will the pipe work? Uh, yeah. It'll work. It's not going to be perfect, but I guess later on we can fix that up so now all we got to do is get everything done let's go in we'll double check make sure that the straw swath is on it is on and that's really all we got to do i'm kind of excited about this are you guys ready yeah you are you are don't don't lie to me now I need to first unfold the the, the harvester man it should have done that on its own when at at the time when it could have done that uh oh <laughs> skipped a little bit there didn't we yeah, just, just slightly. Also, it's uh, just slightly slow. It's gonna go faster than we had for the other combine, but uh, yeah, this this is this is gonna take us a little while to do this field. Man, the field also gets super super close to these power lines right here as well. Ooh, we gotta be careful there. Oh boy, huh? And, and it does it does kind of buck around a little bit. So we'll have to, you know, watch ourselves. I think we'll be okay. Made it all the way down to the end. And we had about 85, 8,600 liters in here, which I think is pretty, pretty good at considering all things. Oh boy, we're stuck. That's going to be fun to try and get together. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Not so bad. We're on the end of our triple headland here at the very, very bottom, and we're up to 18,000 liters. Not too bad. Uh, I also really, really want to go ahead and upgrade this engine, but we don't need to yet. Want to? Oh yeah, absolutely want to, but need to? We don't need to. Not just yet. It's it's still moving. I did repair it. They weren't repaired, so I had to repair them like 500 bucks each. Really wasn't that bad. Painting's really what it gets you. That John Deere, what was it, $20,000 it would have required to repaint it? No thank you. No thank you. 20% completed with this contract. We've only got 34,000 liters in here, and I'm not even done with my headland yet before letting this guy just go do his thing. Oh boy, this is gonna be, uh, I think we may have gone OP too soon, even though this is gonna take forever to do. So now that we've already hit all around the field, I've got this little island, this little water island thing up here at the top. And I really need to do something with this specifically, maybe two times around it, just so that whenever my combine harvester's coming through, they don't hit anything or, or they don't accidentally clip a tree or don't get scared because, oh my gosh, there's a tree. We just want to take care of our worker and make sure everybody's good to go. So I think that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to go around this twice. That way we've got plenty of room. If we had that smaller combine though, I would definitely be doing this three times instead of two though. And now we can hire our worker and let him shine. I do believe that the field goes in a little bit. So we'll start him on the outside here. Just to goes down. Yeah, you can see it kind of poking its way out to the right there. Slowly but surely, hopefully. He makes it all the way down without clipping anything. Want to make any bets? Already coming up on the first possibility here. Does he get it? He got it. All right. Making his way down to the end. He didn't miss a single thing. So either I had good aim or the worker did what they were supposed to do. It wasn't the second one. It wasn't even close. So now that our worker's hired on the combine harvester, there's nothing else that we could possibly do or is there i'm gonna go ahead and start bailing man because this is gonna take a while i'm not really sure why that's in the middle of the road but i have traffic turned off so i think we're okay and just in time to see our worker kind of doing his thing and turning around up here i do need to go ahead and unload him though so let's go ahead and jump in here and see if we can catch up i don't really know how fast he's gonna go though what uh -uh. what was that what was that 
What's up? What's up, dude? You know, some days the workers are okay. I feel like today's not going to be one of those days. Nonetheless, let's get to work. Let's go and reset that bell counter so I know exactly how many bells I've gotten off of this field. Uh, and never mind, because it's not going to count these. I totally forgot. Whenever you do contracts and you steal the crop away from them, it's not counted. And I could prove it. All right, so it says 0 and 58. I just made a bell, so whenever this falls on the ground, it should count because that means it's out of the machine and all is well. But, oh, it, it counted. Shut up. All right, so it is, it is counting. Please ignore everything I just said. <laughs> now for this spot, which I said is going to be very tricky. Can we get it? Can we get it all? Ah, we missed a little bit. We'll have to back it up. I am pushing to get these headlands done, man. But unfortunately, the 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 combine's catching up to me dude it's well we're at 62 percent here the contract itself you can see how much is done half the field is already done just down the center and the contract itself 56 percent completed already i dj goham am having a hard time keep it up even with this that combine harvester went into overdrive i swear nonetheless i'm trying to get all these bells put it a decent spot to make it a little bit easier to pick up but oh boy man we we got a lot to do but it's happening quickly so that's all right much faster than that john deere would have that's for sure just now getting started with the inside of the field and we made 49 bales total just on the headland that's two or one on each side and then three of the tops plus we went around the uh, little natural area there at the top we gonna get a lot of bells off of this field. Yes, we are. <laughs> I do know that every 30 bells is 40 grand. Yeah, you can do the math on that. Dump number two, 89,000 liters this time. So we got a uh, pretty good ways around. We are over 60% done now with this entire contract. So we'll go ahead and dump that in there. We'll take a look here, 64%. So usually by the time that we finish harvesting, that's about 80%, just so you know. So at this point, we are rocking. Uh, we got 79 bells made so far, which is going to be um, plenty of money. That is really close to $100,000 already, just in bales. And I would say we're probably about halfway through. Yeah, getting closer. I've actually um, asked for a little bit of help. So there was a company that I used to borrow things from back at Farming Simulator. 17 called the Goham Co, which is funny enough what my business is called now. <laughs> well, the Goham Co would let me borrow pieces of equipment as long as I promise to give them back in good shape. So what I've done is I borrowed a windrow and a tractor that we could hook up to our baler so that we could actually pull this thing it, it bell up twice as fast. And that is exactly what we are going to do. This has a 60 meter spread. So these are bits that, uh, that I've tried using in the past. Now the tractor, I had to swap it out because unfortunately it doesn't have enough power. The one that we were using does not physically have enough power, enough oomph, enough go, just go already for this to even work. <laughs> However, uh, this will, this will just fine. I only need, I think, combined for all of this, like 300. We got 458. So we should be okay. Oh, come on. I did the thing again, didn't I? Man. When was the last time you felt like an idiot? Mine was uh, right now. All right, back to this, which is going to take literal ages. Well, this part's done, so that's great news. Hey, I wonder if another baler could work. I wonder if the Goham Company's got some other goodies that we could borrow to get this done quickly. Because as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, two many, uh, too, too, too many. There's, there's too many things going on. Also, this is gonna be. Yo, is that, it's like rusted on there. That's great, yo. And this is definitely gonna fill this trailer up. There is no way, yeah, there it is. 
33,000 liters left in here. Actually, that's probably not too bad. We'll probably hang on to that. So I've reached out to the Goham Co. yet again to see if maybe this could work. I do vaguely remember in a previous map utilizing a baler that had these expansions that I could use and I didn't think twice about it. But the other way just physically didn't work. Not with a separated bed, but this isn't saying anything. And it's also not working either. Yep, it's dropped down. But it's not, it ain't, it's not picking anything up. Um, well, the baler kind of is, but it's not, the windrow's not doing its job. So this just physically won't work either. Still goes faster than the other ones. So I'm gonna utilize the tractor because at least I get this done faster. And lastly, ba-bam, there you go. We do have uh, barely enough in there and we did lose a little bit. So we'll go ahead and make that extra bill. We'll just round it up. I won't tell if you won't tell. 196 bales. It should just go poof. Is it really just going to hang on to it? There we go. Oh, man, I'm exhausted. <laughs> We've still got a lot of work to do today, though. So I've got to pick up all of these bells. 196. I can pick up 30 at a time. So we're going to get 30 at a time. We'll take all of those and sell them. Hopefully at the sell anything station because that's the closest one. And I don't think about it. I think that's the only place that I could sell them. So there's that. That's good. And the only things that we need for the rest of the uh, time here is a pickup truck and to go fast. Here we go. The uh, long, uh, <laughs> the long process that is going to be auto collecting every last one of these bales. I don't even know how many trips it's going to take. All I know is I'm not looking forward to it, but but I'm okay with it because it's going to make us so much money. Oh, it's going to be ridiculous. All right, so to help out my solution here, because this is going to take me a long time and basically forever, I have placed down a trigger on a farm that I don't own in an area that I, well, as well don't own. However, I think that this might just be the best way for me. There we go. $40,000 made about the same plus it's right here so I shouldn't have to go very far that's that's gonna be great oh yeah and I plan on buying this farm eventually well as always I plan on buying everything on the map eventually we'll see if I do it I think we've done it I think that we have actually collected all the bales and it did take really even half as long as I thought it would but then again I put a bell cell point right over here. <laughs> so maybe there's that as well. I am going to just double check, make sure I didn't throw any bales into a, a natural area that I didn't think about. And uh, I think we're good here. We'll go ahead and pull this up, get our final tally. Uh, but we begin getting average $40,000 per load. This is about half of a load, if that. Um, 21,000, yeah. So maybe just a little bit over half of a load there. Ooh. So we're at $840,000 right now, which is pretty darn good. And I'm really, really happy about that. So let's, uh, let's go into phase two now. I'm just going to drop this trailer in dude's field and let's take this and let's see what we can get ourselves into over here when it comes to grain. So this cell point's actually kind of neat. We have to go into the farm over here. Yep, private grain trading right here. <laughs> it's kind of a neat place. I'll be honest with you. It's a really, really neat setup that the way this is done. So we need to get this stuff uh, sent off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sell about half of this. So we'll get down to about 90,000 liters and we will see what we're at then. Right there. It's 57% is transported, which means that we should not have to sell all of this. 93%. There you go. 
Okay, and 14% discount for future field purchases. That's great. And I may reach the maximum discount for uh, Amelia. Okay. So we've got a whole lot of grain to take back. What is that? 30,000 in there. We got 30,000 in here. And I can't drive, but I haven't hit anything either. So <laughs> I think we might be okay. And the total amount is 67,000 liters that we get to keep off of that field. Totally, totally worth it. Oh yeah, by the way, I got $60,000 for completing that contract. Oh, baby! Bull, bull, bull! <laughs> Yo, uh, what's the price on field number eight now? Or farmland 11, whatever. So it was 1.9. However, it is now $1.6 million. That's a pretty good field. Might have to... Uh, <laughs> how much money can we put together? Um... 289 right there, 250, 205, so that's another six. Uh, that's pretty close, man. That's pretty close. The only thing is we wouldn't have that, and unfortunately that farmland costs $1.1 $1 million by itself. However, I do think that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good setup there. I'm looking around to see if I can find uh, any more fields that are owned by Amelia Lambert so that we can try to get some time off. Oh, uh, well, maybe, maybe one day. Oh man, look at this. We've worked so long on that other bit that we, <laughs> we've been able to get three sets of pallets here. Oh man, dude. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Also, we've got enough money. We could also just, uh, you know, take the green mill, make it a little bit better. Take it over here, make it a little bit better. Maybe get a little bit more bread to sell every day. Who knows? Nonetheless, let's go ahead and take the 67,000 liters. Let's go ahead and dump it in. Maybe. Oh, wait. Oh, this is soybeans. Oh, uh, where's a good price for soybeans? <laughs> Funny enough, the same place that we were, Butler's, Ohio, way over here. So it is uh, $6,500 per thousand liters, and I got 67,000 liters. Yay! Uh, we're gonna, uh, I'm afraid that we're gonna make a little bit more money than might be okay. Also, I realize that I'm driving in people's fields. Do not care. All right, here we go. What is the price going to be on here? I imagine it's going to be pretty darn good. At least it should be pretty good. Price is going up. Everything's going up. $441,000. Boys, we got $1.3 million right now. Um, yeah, that field did us good. That field did us really good. Unfortunately, I'm exhausted now because of how long this episode took to record. So I'm going to go to bed. I think it's a great idea. We'll go take, take a nap for about eight hours and we'll see you again tomorrow. Winter time is upon us, but we've got just enough time to get a few more bits and bobs done here in Ohio before the snow falls, which should be in the next few days. The very first thing that I wanna do is I wanna get rid of a few things that we've got and I wanna buy some new stuff. So I'm actually gonna be selling field number six or uh, farmland nine. It's done as well and I appreciate it existing. However, there's a bigger, more squared off field. Well, less squared off, but bigger right up here. And we can afford it. We've got 1.6 milli right now and well, it costs 1.1. So I'm going to buy it because we've saved up a lot of money and we still got half a million dollars left. How cool is that? Lucky for us after buying that field, uh, it is oats. And of course, well, of course it's oats. <laughs> I think we need to do a little bit of harvesting just to celebrate our new field. And boy, oh boy, do I love this combine harvester. Eventually we are going to have to upgrade the engine on here, but I think it's going to do all right. Also, real quick, before we get even remotely started with this harvest there is one other thing i would like to do i want to upgrade the bakery because we've got a lot and i mean a lot of stuff coming in however it's not able to fully 
get it all done. So we're going to upgrade the bakery once again and put it in the second setup. And oh, that's a lot of money to upgrade the grain mill. I think right now the grain mill is probably still giving us enough. So we'll be all right there. Also, something we're going to have to do maybe by the end of this episode, we'll find out, is we've got to get a new cedar. The cedar that we've got right now, though it is fine, I think we're going to need a bigger one because this is going to take forever with a six meter cedar and well, I don't want to. Double check, make sure our straw swath is on and it is. We got fast farming enabled as well. Come on, go, 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 go. A little bit slow. Hey, who left their corn sitting around? <laughs> now, as before, we are going to have to do all of the headland work, at least on the sides by ourselves oh kind of goes off a little sideways there there we go uh, we are gonna have to do a little bit of this work on our own because it is just way too close to these trees and as you know the game don't like that very much Ooh, up here we don't have to do it though hire worker now i'm on to the right side of the map or the field rather and yeah we're already getting getting stucky stuck so as you know let's pull up our easy dev controls and uh, get, we'll get rid of this delete objects input turn that on we'll come under the map bye <laughs> i love that button now another nice thing about doing an oat harvest here at least on a brand new field is we don't have as many oats in here as we do wheat we did a huge field well and now we've got all of this which is very exciting Ooh. Welcome to Flower Simulator 2023, baby. Let's go. Oh, boy. Uh, here's something I didn't notice. This field has a rock formation in the middle. Not only that, I believe there's water over there as well, which is just so cool. Yeah. Once I hire this worker up, which is going to be right up, maybe not at the top of this hill, but on the other side, we're going to take a look at that because I want to see, can I change that? Can I modify it? Hey, can we plow it up and just make this one big square field so I don't have to worry too much? By the way, if you guys are used to this map, this is the only straight edge on this entire field. Field number four, farmland, I think it's six. So, uh, yeah, if you're going to do anything, uh, just kind of line it up on this side and you'll be good to go. All right, let's set that worker. There you go, buddy. Go do your thing. I want to find out what's in the middle of this field over here. Here it is. I found it. There's more corn. It's so confusing. I think that we could not only plow this up, but I think we could also level, maybe raise the terrain here a little bit as well, and then plow that. Should uh, should hide all these little sticks and stuff like that. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Workers shouldn't have any problems with that either. That's going to save us a whole lot of headaches. While we wait, there's a couple other things that I want to do as well. First things first, I want to take this tractor and I want to bump that horsepower all the way up. It only gives us uh, 20,000 and we get, I don't know, is that 40 horsepower or something like that? That's pretty good. So let's bump that up. It's also something else I really, really want. I love this little John Deere baler, and it does such a good job. It doesn't require hardly any horsepower whatsoever, but I do have a tendency to, well, miss things. So first things first, we're going to sell that. Then I'm going to go in here. We've got something that should match perfectly. This guy, yo! So we're gonna get this. I'm gonna go for the 12 meter spread on here. I think it's gonna be a little bit, maybe too big. Oh, I don't know which one I wanna go with. It's the same price for the 12 meter as well as the 10.3. However, the 10.3 requires 30 less horsepower. And we're only gonna be able to get one run with this anyway because our header's larger. So let's go with that. Let's go with the Michelin tires. Of course, doesn't charge us anything extra for that. Let's find New Holland on the brand logos. There you go, looking good. Working lights, uh, I don't do anything at night, so it doesn't matter anyway. Baylor color. Now, I really want a blue Baylor. I'm so sorry if, if maybe you don't want a blue Baylor but I really want a blue baler. Let's go with that. Windrow color. Do we have New Holland blue? Well, there's New Holland blue matte. Uh, is that the color? I guess it is. So it matches the tractor. Ooh, uh, what about black? Would black look good up there? Ooh, black does look good there. <whistles> okay, so there's our baler right there. I do like this. I think it looks great. Let's go ahead and get that $71,000. Oof, money's going down. And there it is! Uh, it's definitely not, maybe not the most beautiful thing ever, but 
we go ahead and repair it and now everything's good may as well go ahead and repair the tractor while we're at it it ain't new but it ain't ugly and i'll take that one thing i am concerned about is is this windrower gonna cause me to have some issues because this thing weighs a lot before i forget i do need to do this part because the combine is almost at 80 percent and evidently it's blocked by an idiot object can i can just can you just tip in in the stupid thing already please please just just tip like right in there oh we got it only for a second i can't i can't cart with this can i Sure can't. Here we go. Yeah, this should be a little bit easier. We were getting very close. See? Happy. And it could probably do the rest of the field without having to unload. Nice. Now we get to have some fun with a little bit of bailing. All right, let's turn it on. And let's see if this thing will actually go full speed or if I'm going to have to turn around. Well, uh, uh, it ain't. What it's not doing is doing what I what I actually wanted it to do. It's it's actually pushing down on the ground, or was that just something weird that was happening back there? I think that was just something weird that was happening because now we are heading off, taking off, doing just fine, and not missing a, a whole lot. Still gonna miss a little bit here and there, but it's actually not too bad. That's why I like these. They kind of prevent you from missing any. And yes. I did change up to 240 centimeter bells before I took off. And we're off, making plenty of bells. I tried to hit a couple at the uh, very end, and I also forgot to do my head lens at the very bottom and the top. We may have to do that separately. It'll be all right. Not done bailing yet, but I do want to go ahead and take over our combine harvester because we're at that point now of kind of no return. There's the area right smack dab here in the middle where I think we're going to run into some problems. Also, I think now may be a good time to go ahead and upgrade that R300 to an R450. I may do that while we're right here in the field. I do have a mod or a, uh, I don't know. I can do things when I'm, when a place is where I shouldn't be doing them. You know what I mean? Shut up. <laughs> All right. Nice and slow. We'll go ahead and bring the cruise control down. I'm still on a worker right now, but the worker, actually the worker's probably not going to stop here. Nope. I sure didn't. So I'm going to stop them myself. We'll go ahead and come through here, and I'm going to run two little passes around there. But first, let's come in here, let's customize, and let's give it the big engine. No, 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 no. That was too expensive. I don't want to go that high. How about how about we go from 306 to 356 for seven grand? That I am happy with. Yes. Grab it, turn it on, and go. I also love the Farming Simulator 22. I can customize a, a, a combine harvester or something like this and it doesn't like disappear everything. Do you guys remember that? Farm Sim like 17 did it, and I think 19 did it a little bit as well, where some things where you would either reset them or customize them, they uh, made everything inside disappear. It's a good thing that that doesn't happen anymore. And now with everything back happy, back to this. I'm gonna try and make a bunch of bells and see what I can do. And I guess we'll see you when the field's done. Yeah. Well, we're almost done with the field. I have run into a bit of an issue at the top. Um, it's a bit of a mess through here. So what I'm going to have to do is pick up the bales and then we're going to have to come through and rebuild all the other areas because there's, well, bales everywhere. These, these new balers, they look cool, but boy, oh boy, are they super inefficient. I feel like I'm going to spend more time. But it's, ugh. Yeah, it's so much fun. Yay! Since those bells are going to be a chore, let's go ahead and take care of this part first. We got 174,000 liters of oats off of that field, which is pretty insane, considering, well, that's, that's a lot. While we're at it, let's go ahead and drop that off. We'll go ahead and let that dump into our grain mill here, and we'll go ahead and carry these carry these over here boop and drop off the flour yeah so that has dumped in there we are empty off good 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 Ooh, i wonder if i can fly with this come on yeah man <laughs> i love it all right let's drop it there come on land 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 oh boy it's stuck it's stuck at the ground 
Oh no! No! Got it. All I had to do was go under the map and throw it. <laughs> oh, we do have some bread over here as well, but we'll probably come over and get that bread later. And I have just realized it is getting late. So not only am I trying to fight the sun now, I've also got to try and fight the weather because we have snow incoming. Go, 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 go. I need to turn on the help window because I don't even know anymore, man. I don't even know if it's an operating position or if it's a transporting position. All I know is I need to get some of these bells that are in the middle away. Out of the middle. Let's see. Can we get these? Yes, we can. All right. We got a few here. Let's see if it picks it up automatically. No, it does not. So I got to do all of this. Not a problem. Not a problem. But we do have mm, an uncomfortable amount of bells that are just kind of all up in the way of all these little bits and pieces through here. I do love the big windrow balers don't get me wrong some of my favorite balers in the game if not my favorite balers in the game but they they actually physically can't pick up the amount of stuff that's around them it it's kind of annoying actually yeah here's something else that's really annoying me and uh by the way i'm getting rid of this i hate this setup so much what why is one of the coolest mods of the world suck so you've got this little bit in the back right here, and it just kind of goes down and then gets stuck. I don't know if that's an issue, but I'll tell you this, that little John Deere baler I had, never did that. Ever, ever, ever. And I took it over much larger, they did it again. I took it over much larger chunks than this. So what I will be doing is getting like a Corona version of that baler, rebuying it, and uh, and then getting like a trailed windrow. That, that may be the easiest thing. At least it goes over these. Oh, I hate all of this. I'm going to rage quit on Ohio for no reason. Get your Get, come on. Oh, so I'm curious how many times I'm really about rage quit right there. How many times have I tried to use these windrows? And it's weird. The first versions of them worked great. But for some reason, these, these latest versions, I'm not sure what's quite going on. I love it and I want to love them, but, I'm, but I'm quite unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the part that should be nice and easy without that stupid baler. Let's, uh, let's sell some bills. Make a little extra money. Ugh, I need something nice and easy right now. This is our last loader right here. We've only got six bills on here, but we have already accumulated a bunch of money. You can see up there, $539,000. I don't know if this put us over. Ooh, it did! 600 grand! Yeah! All right. So now we have taken care of everything on that field right here, field number four. So it is back down to the very bottom. We do need to plow that area right there up. I do also need to find out where the water plane is so that we're above that. Actually, I think the water plane's like right below it, somewhere around here, something like that. Uh, well, maybe not in this area, but it is over there. We also uh, will need to get a planter and I want to treat myself a little bit. We've got some money, so I want to buy a bigger better batter tractor probably go in new holland because well it seems pretty slim for us so we'll, we'll go with more new holland there probably gonna go with a t8 not likely a t9 it's just not fast enough but we will go with a t8 i'll find one with a big engine and something we can customize a little bit and have a little bit of fun with as well should have a good time our last bit for the day i'm gonna go ahead and grab this bread and we are going to go and sell it oh there's more flour look at that we're gonna bring this over here and sell it i wish i could come up with some way to get everything from over there to over here it'll be so much easier there we go 5500 bucks not too bad and mine <laughs> all right all done for the day. Well, I thought we were gonna be able to get everything done before winter, but unfortunately it got way too late in November to get any more work done. So we went to bed. I told you the snow was coming. There's a couple things that we need to do today. First up, we need to make our way over to our bakery right up here because I'm sure we're gonna have some stuff waiting for us. I haven't looked yet. Oh yeah, we definitely got some stuff waiting for us there and We've got a whole lot over here waiting for us, too. So, step one, Flower Simulator 2023. The snow's falling just a little bit. It is pouring down, man. Absolutely pouring down. Let's go and pick all these up. I don't know how many there are waiting on us, but I'm going to guess there's more than that. I don't know. I guess we could take a look. Oh, yeah. We got to go pay our animals a visit today as well. They are not happy with us. Oh, boy. That's a lot. 
Ha. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we got 10 more pallets that should spawn anytime. Give it a minute. Now there's five more. Boop, 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 boop. Ow. Oh, loading area's full. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> we'll go and bring it over here to our upgraded. I'm aware flower's not available there. Leave me alone. We'll bring it right over here where they do want it. There you go. Nice and good. So we are really, really, really ramping up some production right now in the bakery. As you can see, well, all of the stuff that we've got out front, I think that's five, uh, five pallets, four pallets. So it's still good, but it's not quite into the area that I want it to be. We could upgrade it to stage four for another 65 grand. It might be beneficial to do that because I don't think otherwise it's gonna even make it way through. Cause you can see we have a lot coming out through here and we may even wanna upgrade the green mill a little bit. So I think right now, maybe a good idea to go ahead and upgrade that. And now we'll go ahead and pick up the rest of this. Now that all that's done, let's go ahead and pick up all of our bread. There we go. So we got 4,000 liters of bread on here. Now the great thing is bread is selling for some pretty good stacks right now. Let's take a look at it real fast. Bread should be all up in here. Where's bread? I don't know. There it is. Found it. So 5,300, 54, 55, 30, 55, 74, Ohio. Ooh, I ain't gotta go nowhere. Sweet. I also can't get in there either. So we're gonna have to pick them all up and sell them individually. Just like so. I have no idea how to get to that point right there. But I do know that this works just fine. So there's one, there's two. So this should make us about mm, $22,000, something like that. I think 22,000 sounds pretty good right now. Get, none of that worked. <laughs> it has just been a world of hurt, man. As soon as the snow started falling, uh, my IQ started dropping. There we go, okay. Some money in, things are good. I gotta turn around because there's no way I can make it through there with a 50 foot trailer with the tail on it. <sighs> All right, I think we're done over here. Next up, just so we can do this and get it out of the way, because I'm gonna forget, is the cows. They need a little bit of straw and they definitely, definitely, definitely need some food. Let's take a look at them real quick just so we know exactly what to give them. So TMR, they'll take as much as I could possibly give them right now. As far as their productivity, it's doing well, pretty good. 20% uh, or 22% of their pu pu puberty. I don't know. And then we need to give them some straw as well. They're, of course, not making any milk yet because they're not an adult, but we will make it through our first year and be pretty good. I don't remember if I put anything in this silo or not. So I do want to go ahead and do a quick double check. I don't think I did. No, if there's no TMR in here, they ain't nothing else in there either. <laughs> but we will. Go ahead and uh, give them about as much as they'll take here. So let's find TMR. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. There it is. And there's about mm, some amount. You know what? I'm just going to fill this up. So not too expensive. Probably costs us somewhere close to $6,000 to fill that up. However, because 82 Studio made it so cheap for basically everyone, well, it's great. Oh, I just had an idea. All right. So you guys know how this trailer likes to get stuck on anything that is taller than it, right? Well, there's no sides on here, and I don't think there's any collisions either. So, well, there's definitely some type of collision. Oh, no. No, the collisions actually exist. Really? It's open, but there's collisions. Well, that sucks. Well, you know what they say. If you can't join them, um, get beat by them. I don't, I don't know where I'm going with that. All I know is this is probably going to freak out here in a minute. Unless it doesn't. Oh, nice. Landed it just perfectly where I didn't get stuck. Hey, I'll take that. So food is up. That is good. I don't, I don't know how much more they'll take. That's, that's a lot actually. I'm gonna fill this thing up with straw and then we'll probably be done. D done with the cows. Done with the cows. You ain't better going nowhere. Let's see if I can do this just right this time again. I tried to pull it forward where it wouldn't hit. About right there, should be good. Straw is going in, baby. Ooh, and it doesn't hold all of that. Oof. Well, good enough. So as much as I love the winter time and I love all of the uh, snow flying right at my face and in my eyes, um, 
I don't really enjoy playing when it's doing that. It's kind of a bit much. And it might be a bit much for you guys as well. So if it's something I don't like, I'm not going to put you through it either. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a little break. We're going to fast forward through some days. Maybe go through to, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe February, March, something like that. Something where the snow is not absolutely flying in my face. And we also may do a little bit of work in our new field next day. Sometime in January. Unless it's snowing. I don't know, we'll find out. Oh, well, it's not snowing in January, so that's great! Yeah, man! <laughs> also, uh, bread has been kicked into overdrive now. As you can see, flour is almost full in the outgoing products up here in the grain mill, and it's, well, first. And then, down here, well, it's going through flour pretty good, and it's actually going through bread at an amazing rate as well. We are gonna have to... Sup, dude? You, uh, you want to explain to me what you're doing there? You make me uncomfortable, guy. Tell you what, just continuing my, uh, <laughs> just continuing my little bit here of flower simulator over and over and over again. I will say that I do love these productions in flour. It's one of the easiest. All you got to do is take your grain, get your flour, turn it into bread, and sell it. It's a one to one to one. Boy, is it easy. And we got more right here. Put them beside each other, and then you have made yourself a whole lot of money. That's right. We'll take a look at here's case. We got 13,000 more liters of flour, which should start to spawn any minute. All right, that's it for the flour. Take a look. Just double check, make sure everything's all good. 60,000 liters in there. Doing all right. Okay, so bread is actually made a lot since we were here last. It is making bread like crazy. It looks like it's making, what was that, eight? nine almost ten in a uh, 24 hour spin that's pretty remarkable and a little bit ridiculous as well let's see if we can go and strap these last two down and this last one doesn't want to go got it all right should also have one more dropping take a look here ah there he did <laughs> All right, so we got nine of them right here. Let's see if we can find ourselves a great place to sell some bread. So hilariously, the selling point is at our neighbor's farm, which should be fun. You can't see it because it's a stupid A-pillar in the way. And we're just going to hit that sign, go ahead and take that out, run through here. That looked uncomfortable. If I've done my math right, we should get around. Oh boy, bread's not accepted here. Why? Are you sure? I feel like bread's accepted here because it's currently being accepted here. <laughs> I, I, so I think we're going to get about $50,000, maybe a little bit more. Um, that says 41, but our money's going up a whole lot more than 41. I think something sold on the side or something. Regardless, that's pretty good right there. That is pretty darn good indeed. I know it is January, but since it is not doing any crazy uh, stuff with the weather, it actually looks very beautiful. I'm going to go repark this bad boy up here so I don't have to take it back. And we're going to go sell, uh, sell. We're going to go buy ourselves a brand new tractor. We're also going to buy ourselves a brand new planter and a plew. Well, I was kind of hoping that somewhere in here I would find ourselves a new Holland that I could take, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're just going to have to buy another one of these. And what better one to go with than this right here? The New Holland TH Genesis US Series. The configuration, uh, well, I've left it standard at least for now. I, I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of back and forth. I do really like the feed. I agree, the red. But then again, it is a New Holland, and I wanted to keep it a little bit blue. But I don't know which one of these I want to go with. I do like the black as well. That does look pretty darn good. But. I think what I might do is just stick with a standard blue for now. $340,000. Ah, where is that at? Oh boy, it's up here, isn't it? Sure is. We also need a cedar slash planter. And I can tell you without a beyond a shadow of a doubt stuff, that this I think is going to be the best thing for us. It's nice, it's light, it's going to take off, and it's going to be perfect for us. This is the one that I modified and used a little bit on Griffin, Indiana. I love this, and, uh, and I kind of want to use it more. So I'm going to go with it. All right, let's get ourselves a plow as well. Uh, unfortunately, I've been recording this whole time, but I accidentally only recorded the, um, the, uh, the extra outro clips. 
My bad. Uh, so yeah, we've got ourselves a nice T8 tractor. I am using the Kinsey planter, but this is a modified version that I did. And well, J Turk helped a lot with it. <laughs> I'm also using that plow right there. They work great. I don't. I got. I got absolutely nothing to say at all other than it works great. I will tell you, I did want to put a three point on the front of this, but I figured a couple people might try to kill me if I did that. So I went with this. Now let's head out there. We're gonna raise up the middle of our field and then we're going to plow up the area that we put down. Here it is, the area that's causing me a whole lot of trouble that if I don't go ahead and get this bit up, uh, this is gonna become an absolute Absolute? Yes, absolute nightmare. First things first, before you do anything like this, save your game. That way you don't get yourself into some trouble. Now, what I'm gonna try and do is flatten it all to a point. So we'll jump into landscaping and we'll hit my uh, level tool right here. And then I'm gonna try and find a place where it's kind of like there, where I can bring everything up and level with it. This is gonna level out all of the bits and bring them well, level. <laughs> now that I've done all of that, now I'm going to take the soften and we are just gonna hit it with some softness. This is gonna bring the sides up to each other. It's also gonna bring the middle area down in the bits where it needs to come down a little bit. And I think right about through there should be good. I may go through and just hold it just a little bit more. Now I'm also going to run this near the edges of the field right here where it's not done up as a field. This should give me the perfect kind of slope in, but not cause too many problems, at least for me. And then you get to a certain point and the game says, ah, yes, I like that. That feels like it's supposed to be that way. And I think that's about like that. Now it doesn't look great yet, but it's pretty good so far. I'm also gonna go in and see if I can do painting of the uh, the ground itself. Some maps include a plowed state for planting, but I don't think we've got that here. No, we don't, but that's why we've got this. So we'll bring it down. I'm gonna go ahead and enable the create fields and we will find ourselves a great starting point. That'll do right there. I will overhit it and overshoot it just a little bit on the sides, but that'll be good for me. I've also got it set to wherever I can mow and hopefully plow up also some areas like the bushes. I don't want those on there at all. I do know that those sticks and pieces like that, they're always going to be there. They are going to be there. They're going to stay and there's nothing, nothing, nothing that I could do about that. It sucks and we just gotta move on. Hit towards the inside now, and I'll show you what I mean once we get closer to some of these little sticks. You can see all of that stuff is disappearing, which is good, and that's what I want. But I get over here to these sticks, and they stay. I like stuff like that. I think it makes maps look really, really good, but for people that wanna create their own fields and, and you know, farm in areas that you're, you know, not supposed to be farming in, it's a bit of a, eh. Wish that wasn't there kind of thing, you know? Nonetheless, the workers shouldn't worry too much about those. It's just sticks and they're completely inanimate as well. Uh, yeah, nothing shows up and I can't delete these either. So they're just invisible decorations, more or less. Now it's for the spraying time. And since we are kind of building things up, we're gonna go in here and customize this. Uh, working with a set, pretty small-ish right now, but we're gonna go ahead and expand that up to 28 meters. I'm also gonna leave the new Kubota logos on there, but I'm going to change out our colors. So we're gonna go with a white tank, and then the details, I think I'm gonna change these over to New Holland Blue as well. New Holland Blue and New Holland Blue. I might pick these and see which one looks cool in black. That one actually looks great in black. So let's do that. I didn't like the, oh. watch yourself. And now we can fertilize. This is gonna be a big swath. It's not that it's like 40 meter trailed. This is pretty good though, man. I gotta get into it. This is pretty darn good. We're gonna give it its first setup of fertilizer and then we'll come through, we'll plant it out. Remember, we still have two fields. There were bits I didn't get rid of. We still have, well, field two. Yeah, field two. And then we got the area across the uh, map as well. Oh, hopefully that's not too much. I have a tendency to do too much. 
Uh oh, speaking of too much, why is that only sprayed in the middle? And why is my FPS showing up? And why why are things happening? Change working with. Ah, I was freaking out there for a second. So far so good on the headline. I do remember this corn up here. It's been a while. It's been a little while. And now we hire the worker because this is the straightest field. Hopefully they got plenty of room to turn around on the ends. They should. They're probably not gonna do this job as fast as I want them to. But, uh, you know, it is what it is sometimes. Oh no, I totally forgot. The workers hate, <laughs> hate this whenever I spread this out. We have to run two headlines with this. Oof. I did hire the worker up here. Let's see how they do with this new little spa right here. Once we get crop in here, I'm not really going to worry too much about that stuff in the ground because it's all going to look the same. But, oh, it worked. Yes. I'm going to miss a little bit here on the edge. I still got to figure out where to line up. I have no idea, but that worked. And just like that, we are done with the big field, but I'm going to go ahead and jump over here to the smaller one because, well, this is going to take, what, three passes to be done. We'll go ahead and hit this now. I've also decided on the next crop that we're going to do, and it's uh, well, one that I don't do very often. Yeah, frankly, this was almost too easy, especially now that we got this big sprayer. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. Ooh, we get to seed next. And did I save the other cedar as well? I don't think I ever sold it. Not that I want to use it. Let's be completely fair here. But I still think it's in here. I don't think I got rid of it. Yeah, right there it is. I'm going to have a header trailer for the old header. Go and get rid of you. What are you doing here? <laughs> Let's take a look at this. 80 grand? That's less than the other one cost. <laughs> Bye. And hello to another one of these. Hey, I could use two. I don't know what I was going to use that 80 grand for, but I know what I've got now. <laughs> Please hook up. Yeah, got it. So what we're going to run is, well, you can see it at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Sorghum. I haven't really done much with sorghum since the game came out well over a year ago, but I can tell you that I'm going to run it now. <laughs> also, are those snowmen? There's a the snowman in the summertime. Winter time. It's January. Keep forgetting. Keep forgetting. So let's go ahead and put these down into the ground. Go ahead and drop that down and turn it on. Yes, sir. I also don't know how fast this goes. And I think I've got fast farming turned on, so it doesn't matter anyway. Oh, yeah. Hang on real quick. Over here. This is kind of like a sinkhole almost. It's kind of sunken in. I'm going to go over here to soften and uh, hopefully not get too close to the road. But I'm going to try and either smooth some of this out a little bit and make it all nice and easy. I wish the soft until works exactly the way that it worked in Farming Simulator 19 because it was absolutely perfect in every single way and I had no excuses whatsoever. The 22 version is not the way I would do it if I could. Nonetheless, I think that should make things a little bit easier for us. What we're going to do is we're going to run three headlands, three at the top, three at the bottom, one on each side, and then I'm going to hire a worker and let them do, well, the rest. And then we'll jump on the other field. And from here, we should be able to just hire it up on a worker and be done with it. There we go. Straightest field. We'll take a look at the field real quick just to make sure that we've done everything that we feel like we should be doing. And I would say we did a pretty good job. Nice. Good job, DJ. Now, let's do it again, but on this field. Yeah! Additionally, one of the reasons that I want to go ahead and nail this off and get it done over with is so that I can hire both of these on the main field and get that done way, way quicker. Twice as fast, even, if you want to consider it that. Shouldn't take too long to get this field done. I think about uh, maybe three to four passes overall should be more than enough. The only difficult part is going to be getting close to these buildings. Oh! Oh, that's close. That was really close. Up here is even worse, though. I love how close it is, but ooh, a little too close for comfort up here, especially when you try to do all this. All right, let's see if we can get right up on it. Well, if I go slow, yes, but I'm still missing a few parts, unfortunately. Uh, well, guess it is what it is. And now, well, this field is done. You can see we finished up field number two with the sorghum, and now... We gotta hit field number four as well. We'll try and line it up over here, maybe just a little bit off. It's probably gonna waste a bit on this first run, but I would rather waste a bit heading this way than coming back the other way. So we will set it up, hire the worker, and 
let it rock and roll. Now is going to be just a big waiting game. Sitting around waiting for this to finish. They're not going slow. <laughs> it's just not instant either. I messed up. It's not... <laughs> That wasn't far enough over. I think from now on, I'm just going to have to come down here to this end of the field and set it up properly because I keep missing it. Whether it's a sprayer that's 28 meters or this planter, which is like, I don't know, 12, something like that. Maybe 18. I don't think it's 18. I think it's about 12. Nonetheless, we'll turn it around right here and we will let him rock and roll, baby. Hire worker. There you go. So little by little, it is getting done. While we're waiting, we may as well just go check up on everybody see if something's happening here we do have some flowers so we will take a flower and put it there is there anything here yet no no we're not even halfway there yet that's okay we're almost done here we've got a little sliver left right up and down the middle right there uh our other helper in the t8 that's gonna hit that i'm gonna jump back in the sprayer here with the t7 and then I think we will pretty much be good to go. I did double check and there is a Case Magnum uh, CVX Tiger. And uh, could I, did I want it. <laughs> it's in the used section and it is like 53% off, which is pretty good, I think. Um, I should have got that instead of the T8. If I would have waited one more day in game, I would have found it. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Actually, I, no, that was today. Hang on. Did I buy that today? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, wasted a lot of money then, huh? Oops. Could have done a C&H farm, but no. Honestly, I would go for it right now, but the thing is, we've already got this T7. T7 will do just about anything that a uh, Case Magnum will do, at least on my farm here today. So, I'm not going to push it too hard. I think I'm, I'm okay. If we had one more field, possibly... We could do okay, but right now I've only got three tools anyway. Or four, I guess, with the plow, but it doesn't count. Well, the important thing is that I at least saved up my own money for it. The bad news is I have no reason to have this whatsoever. <laughs> but you know what? I've got it. So whenever the time comes and I need it, I, I still got it. Yeah, I'm investing in my future with tractors. Man, I wish it was that easy. The grind continues as we are still in January. However, today we are going to be fast forwarding our time all the way through to April, which is when we should be able to harvest our crops and our fields. So today, at least to start off with, we are going to be doing literally that and then sleeping. And the snow is back here in February. I thought we had gotten past this i don't know if it's you guys as well but it always kind of like feels like something's in my eye every time i play in third person first person is actually not that bad because nothing comes in the vehicle nonetheless we've got a bunch of flour that's made itself overnight we've got a bunch of bread that we need to sell and we're gonna do this for uh what i guess the next three days in a row because there's nothing else to do oh we got to keep an eye on our cattle as well time to collect the flour and we have a lot Twenty thousand liters left and we've already got 12,000 here. I've made 32,000 liters overnight. Goodness gracious. And when we're done, go ahead and bring it through here as per usual. And there we go. It just turns out that I've got the perfect amount right here. So we have 32,000, a hold 16. Not bad, not bad. Also, I know that I'm kind of doing the same thing every like three or four episodes. We're pretty early on still in the series right now. Only on episode number eight. It feels like I've been doing this for... Well, forever, because I'm recording, I think it's two or three weeks after the map has come out. So I do feel like I've been playing this map for a long time. But you know what? I'm really enjoying this map, and I'm here for the long haul. Hopefully, we'll be able to finish up a lot of new stuff and a lot of different stuff before an update drops. However, we do know that the creator of this map is working on an update. We just don't know when it's going to come out. Boom, ba -doom, boom, 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 boom. How much bread we got left? Oh. Well, that's it. Well, that makes things nice and easy. Where are we going to take it? Actually, I'm not going to take it anywhere. I think I've decided that I'm going to just kind of drop all of the bread off here. I should have left it in storage, but nah, that's fine. Um, I'm going to wait until I do one nice big sale. That way, I don't have to worry a whole lot. <laughs> Man, I'm doing so bad right now. Uh, I'm going to sell all of these at one time because I guess there's really no point to sell it then run back over here and do that three times that's just gonna be a waste of time ain't nobody got time for that march hath provided much more snow 
that I was ready for. Don't like this. But the good thing is we got one more month. We should be okay. I'm going to go ahead and do all of this over again. We'll go ahead and move the flour. We'll pick up the bread, etc., etc. We'll see you tomorrow. And there we go. Everything has been thrown in there. Now, we've got a lot of flour right now. 110,000 liters in there. Even at level four with our bakery, it's still having a tough time keeping up. So we may want to uh, invest in a reasonable amount of upgrades for that single bakery. The also, uh, the question is, when do you quit having one and buy a second bakery? And I'm not sure I can answer that question, but I do know that we've got it all now. Let's come over here and we'll go ahead and load all of this up and we're going to go do ourselves a big big very big bread cell there you go twenty six thousand liters all right big money baby where do we have give me a 5600 no 5600 but farm shop's not too bad there's something else we need to get as well so as you know i've sold all of our bailing technology and i was contacted by Mr. Solar Guy Modding himself after one of the most previous update uh, videos. And he said, hey, DJ, you wouldn't have that trouble. He used my baler. And man, I wish he wasn't right. But when you're right, you're right. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have to go buy his baler. It's not the cheapest thing in the world, but it works. It's also the brand we can't say out loud. So got to be careful. So uh, it's this one. Where it's showing right now. That ain't it, I don't think. Now, this is somebody else's field. Oof! But we got it over here. All right. At least this is going to be a lot of money. I mean, this is going to be a ridiculous amount of money. This is so... All the money is what that... Oh, $144,000. That means over the past three days, we made close to 50 grand each day. Ooh-wee! And I forgot to check on my cows. Are they dead? No. No, they got a lot of food and a lot of straw. All right, I'll keep ignoring you guys, I guess. How, how much slurry do we have? 54,000 liters, that's not awful. I would like to eventually put pumps and hoses on here, but there's kind of no reason to right now. Also, let's get rid of this little green thing. Ow. Ow, did it. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to get that harvest on. We have got sorghum in two fields, two big, big fields. That's my FPS. I need to double check, make sure straw swath is turned on. It is. We are using the extended straw crops mod from uh, Mr. Yos Modding himself. Uh, how do I get out of here? Uh oh. You can't destroy the crop if it doesn't touch the crop. I'm Superman. And all we got to do is place it gingerly down onto the ground. Yay! See? Absolutely nothing broke. Of course. Is the star right up? Well, it was. I just turned it off. Uh, edit that out. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and hit my side crop right here. There we go. Roll it over it like it ain't nothing. Remember, it is going to drop some straw for me because we are using that extended straw crop spawn. Uh, unfortunately, that is PC only. So do keep that in mind. I've also um, had a little bit of fun with another map that involves lots of different straw crop types. Uh, you guys will be seeing more about that soon. Well, I will say that Sorghum seems like it's putting out a decent amount. Certainly putting out a bunch of straw down, so that's going to be fun to bail up later on. Uh, however, the, uh, the normal crop itself, it doesn't seem like you're getting much off of it, uh, at least visibly. However, uh, not terrible, actually. What is that? One headland of our small field and 19,000 liters. Probably could have gotten a little bit more as well, but... Um, you know, missed a couple corners here and there. Whatever, whatever, whatever. It's all good. One thing I will say is I'm already seeing a problem. DJ has backed himself into a little bit of a corner. Bells aren't going to be the easiest thing to see with that chaff on the ground or the, the, uh, the leftover crop. So we may have a little bit of fun trying to figure out where everything is. But I think we could do it. And we are done. There it is, baby. Yeah. Let's see if I can get the straw swath dropped. Nope. Sure didn't get it dropped where I wanted. So 51,000 liters off of this little field. That's not too bad, man. That's not too bad at all, especially since I think that's more than we've gotten off of any other crop off of that field, which hasn't been many crops because I just started this. Ooh, mailbox. Bink. 
<laughs> Get out of here, mailboxes. All right, let's let's drop this amount of crop in here. And then we shall hire a, hire him up on a worker. We'll get all that taken care of. We're also gonna buy that new baler. Whoop whoop. Coming up now on that little area down here that we flattened out. I'm gonna go a little bit slower than I would have. Come on! Game's over here playing with me like, oh, did you did you want that? Oh my bad. I, I thought you didn't want that. I could have swore you said you didn't want that. Urgh. Now here is one of the fun areas, and I know a lot of you guys out there can can uh, <laughs> you can find with me. It is so difficult to run headlands on the sides of these, just even beside the field itself. Very, very difficult to actually do this correctly because you got to look in the trees and look out of the corner of your eye on the very side of your screen in order to get it all. I may end up coming back through there one day and just chopping all that <laughs> cut them all actually one of the things that you could do on this map is take all these fields in this one little area cut all the trees down in between them raise the ground up level it all out and then wha-bam you got yourself a big field actually that's not a bad idea that's a great idea and we could finally hire a worker feels nice <laughs> and here i was talking about how happy i was that we got fifty-one thousand liters off of the last field I got 32,000 liters off of one headland. <laughs> We're gonna get a lot of sorghum, my dude. So the way I've harvested this field is this. Let's pull it up real quick, I wanna show you. So I've taken field four right here, and we have gone from here, this corner right here, bottom right, over to the left, up, over, and down. So the last, uh, last turn that we had to make right there, was in a straight line. Then I got to come back up here, over here, and I'm gonna hire a worker again on this side right here from the top left-hand corner down because this is going to straighten out this side for me. So there we go, hire a worker, and we shouldn't run into any problems. We might get to a point here on the left side where there is physically no crop to be had. We will judge and see what our uh, worker does there. Yeah, he's gonna stop what he's gonna do. So what I'm gonna try to do is fire the worker at just the right time, which will be about right here, and drop it back down and hire that worker again. Nice. So I know down here at least it's a little bit rough, but at least at that top portion, we've got everything nice and straight-ish, <clears throat> except for that little spot right there. I feel like clutch is responsible for this even though i ran it over even though it was all me still feel like it was his fault somehow somehow he's responsible and also for this little area down here my flattening technique did not work it was not successful it sucked and now it is off Let's uh, let's find ourselves some new toys, shall we? I want to get a new baler. I know exactly which one I want. I just want to make sure it's not on sale first. I don't think it is. There's really nothing that we want or need right now that's on sale. So um, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna find it otherwise. So this is our starting baler, and I just realized that it costs as much money as I have. Cool. Well, at least I know that I'm never gonna need another baler. So. There's that, and I've wasted too much money already on other balers. We'll make that money back pretty quickly. So, uh, we are using Michelin tires. We'll go with the Michelin. Wide tires don't cost anything extra, so let's go with that. I don't need lights or anything, so we'll just take those off completely. We'll also take off the silage additive tank, because I definitely don't need that. Next, we need to figure out our... Uh, body colors. So we've got a New Holland baler, so I think using some New Holland colors would be cool. They've got other colors through here as well, but those are not the ones that we're currently using. So I'm going to uh, dress this up as a New Holland. Close enough. There you go. All right, let's go. Oh man, where did it really? I don't even know where it is. Uh, help found it. <laughs> right here it is. Got it. All right, so we don't have a whole lot of money left, which kind of stinks. It is what it is, but it kind of stinks. Uh, we're going to have to go over a few of these sections a few times, but we shouldn't need to go over all of it 
a few times, which would be nice. And I'm also going to go, I guess, in the exact, uh, either the same order that I went, or we may just go up and down. Oh, they've got an almost full grain tank. Well, that's not good. Not usually something I like to do, fly up through the middle of a crop like this, especially when it's still on the ground, but I guess I'm about to do when this fails anyway, so here we are. So I'm a little bit confused to why I haven't been doing this the whole time. Sorghum has given me a bunch of crop, and Sorghum also has one of the best uh, bits right here at the grain mill. Here we go, Sorghum flour. 15 in, 16 out. You got four to five, which isn't as good. 30 to 23. Not as good. Wait, does that say five? Oh, five to four. Sorry. Uh, and then oats are 15 to 19. This at least seems to be the best one. So why am I not done sorghum this whole time? Uh, has anybody can try to convince me of that in the comments? Uh, let me know. Maybe, maybe convince me again. And the first round is in, so it can go ahead and get to work. However, we're going at time zero right now because I want to show you something. Just little bit unique a lot of the fields are ready to be harvested and i'm gonna harvest most of them probably maybe i don't know <laughs> not likely off screen but i would like to take on a couple harvesting contracts make a little bit of cash see what we can find that's gonna give me a little extra money yes you saw the, the uh, tire tracks i'm going back the way i came <laughs> it'd be interested to do, uh to harvest a bunch of these extra fields and I'm digging sorghum, man. Bailing time! Well, let's make it happen. I wanted to use a windrow with this, but I uh, just physically don't have the money yet. So we're not going to be able to do that, unfortunately. But we will be able to start right here, which makes me happy. Let's go ahead and drop it down. Turn it on. Get it moving. And go. Actually, you know what? We should be able to pick up both sides of this. One thing I didn't know is, and, and maybe he hasn't actually done this, but it certainly feels like it, is... The solar guy has extended the pickup. Look at that. You see how well that's picking that up right now? I don't know anything else in the game other than those bailers that we uh, showed up for. There was like AAA mining or the ARM team that, that pick up this well. Oh, I'm missing some. All right. Well, maybe we're going to miss some no matter what we try to do. We'll come back. One other nice thing that he's done to this, and I picked the perfect time to talk about it because I'm not turning. Uh, he made it, I guess, to where the rear wheels turn. I don't know if they do on the regular baler base game or not because I haven't messed with that baler. <laughs> oh, can't see. Uh, I haven't messed with that baler because I don't like saying the name, so I try and stay away from it. But this one, I'll just call it a modded baler and be done with it. Also, baling after sorghum is not easy. So the bales are coming along. Everybody is doing good, and this is pretty easy. Did my game just crash? Are you serious? Did my game just crash? Come on, bro. Yo, I gotta do all that again. Ugh. Well, great time to end the video. <laughs> Bye. So if you missed the last one, definitely go check out the last, like, two or three minutes of that video, because you gotta want to know what I'm doing here. I'm doing everything again for the second time. <laughs> I've also continued to let the time roll, and I have my uh, thing set where every five minutes, it'll save the game for me. That way, I don't run into any more problems. This field has been completely done. I've got like uh, 70,000 liters of the combine. We've got another 182,000 liters up here in the tipper. And I don't even have the other field done yet. This singular field right here, it was a lot. Speaking of a lot, we've also got a lot of bales off of this field as well. Yo, check this out. 63 bales already and counting. And don't even have half of it done. Yeah, we've just got the top of the bottom in like uh, three, four, five runs? Yeah, almost five. I do have a little bit here. I'm not sure who missed that, but I guess the deer can eat it. We'll come back through and we'll plan over here in a minute anyway. Uh, we've got another field to do regardless, so it's not like it matters. So we've got all of the bales done through here. I don't actually remember how many there are. Easy way to find out. 136. However, we're not done yet, baby. We got to take this 182,000 liters of sorghum, drop it off at the grain mill. Whenever we dropped off at the grain mill in the previous video, uh, just pretend that didn't happen. Good? All right. <laughs> so we'll take this up. Then we will come through and we'll go ahead and empty out our combine harvester and uh, finish up the other bit of our field. We've got so much going on with this, this one little field right there. Plus, we're catching back up from when the game crashed. Oh boy, speaking of, 
saving content. Nice. All right, now let's come in here and let's triple that output. The thing is, we've got plenty of output already. The biggest issue right now is the bakery. It's not able to keep up. We are just constantly shoving flour in it, and it can't keep up. But we're still on the base game, base game grain mill. You see this? Base game grain mill. First level. We're on our fourth level of the bakery, and it can't even keep up. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to upgrade that again, are we? Don't like seeing that sign. And we're off. Time to get this last little bit of a field done right here. Couple things that I wanna do. First, I wanna see how much money we get at the end of this because I would like to purchase a secondary, or I say secondary, I would just like to purchase a plot of land. And it would also be nice to bump up our production a little bit as well. It's a little bit low right now. But I would like to build my own farm. I love some of the farms that they've got here. But goodness gracious, they are super expensive. I mean, we're talking hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars for the plots of land that just the houses and just the barns and stuff are located on. It would be super cool to buy one of those, but I'm not sure it's feasible at least, oh boy, and we hit the fence again, as always. Um, I'm not sure it's feasible at least this early on. So it would be pretty cool to do that. I would also, like to maybe move the cattle a little bit because right now, oh, well, they're way, 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 way out there. And I love the setup that I used on Griffin, Indiana. I think a lot of you guys enjoy the setup that I used on Griffin, Indiana as well. Um, we're in this one as long as I can get it, at least uh, 20, 30 episodes. So uh, I think we've got plenty of time and plenty of opportunities to do some really cool stuff. And I want to make sure that we take advantage of those. Okay, <laughs> status report. We've got our worker doing his job, kind of finishing up this field right here. And we are going to go ahead and start selling up all out of bales. And we're doing that on our neighbor's property that I'm totally not envious of them for at all and totally don't want to steal from them. But it would be nice to kind of take over a little bit more than we're gone. Yeah. Should get around $40,000 for all these bales put together. 36, that is not close to 40. Oh, 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 oh boy. Time to find out why and prices are down. Prices are really down. Tag place, is that this one? So we are actually getting the best price that we could possibly get right now for straw. It's just that we didn't get, oh. You want to know why we didn't get the most amount for the uh, bells? Because this stupid baler, I forgot to change it to 240 centimeter. Cool. All right. Well, let's change now. And we're going to have to make a whole lot more trips with these bales. And we're finished with it. And of course, I hit the wrong button at the right time. <laughs> there we go. Harvest has been completed. Finally. We still got a bunch of bales to pick up. I have not going very far as far as picking bells go but i'm moving as quick as i can and i got another run on there right now so i'll get those done quickly and efficiently and then we will figure out what we're going to do with land and more importantly what we're going to do with everything else because if i continue to create more crop than i can keep up with the amount of money that i make is not going to increase at all and that's a really really sad thing to hear out loud but it's true so I need to figure out what's going to be the most efficient thing. We're harvesting usually twice a year uh, and then one or two nice big harvesting contracts. So how's that going to change? Ooh, I'm not sure. All right, it's bill making time. And because I love this machine so much, I wanted to bring you guys along and just show you how great it works. Now, I am going to get into some areas, especially down here where we've got a little uh, back and forth where it's probably gonna miss a little bit. Yeah, right there, it missed a little bit. But because of the way this baler is set up, you can go in just about any circle with this trailed windrow and not miss anything. When you're using the front windrow with this type of setup, you may run into a problem where you miss a little bit. However, as you can see, doing pretty good with the trailed version. So I uh, just figured I would show this to you guys. It's a neat, neat really cool neat setup but unfortunately i've leased it because i didn't have enough money for it but i still wanted to use it so uh, i'm gonna go through we're gonna get as much of this picked up as we possibly can and there's a chance we could be selling not only this field that we're in right now but also our farm 
and maybe all of it. I don't know. We'll find out. And we're done. We made a total of 162 barrels, which is just absolutely insane. Let's go ahead and take this windrow and return it because we don't need it. And we'll back up to that baler and put it away. Tell you what, choosing this baler from Mr. Solar God Mining, that was a good move. Good move indeed. And this is it right here. This is the very, very end of all of our bales. We have made a decent amount of money off of bales as well, I may add. Looking good, $178,000 right now. Oh, I really don't want to unload. Save the game. <laughs> Just get out. Oh, boy. Ugh. Why? I can't. Just, just hit the ground. Oh, oh, go straight through. Cool. Yeah, this is totally what I wanted to do today. <laughs> Had a game crash earlier and now whatever, whatever this is. All right, so here's the good thing. We know that it's gone. <laughs> it keeps going forwards and backwards and it has all of the bells connected to it. So I don't know where said bells are going to end up or find themselves. But I can tell you that I have no idea where it is. Um, it ain't on the map. Nope, don't see it anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and make an executive decision. To check it one more time. Yep, yeah, nope, there it is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make an executive decision to sell it. Get everything back. Put those bells on it again. Go sell those bells. Those 25 uh, 240 centimeter straw square bells. And then maybe move on and pretend like this didn't happen. So, uh, meet my new buddy right here. So <laughs> we've gone for the same stuff, but I went with a completely different customization, unfortunately, because the other one was used. Well, there's not actually a used one on there. So I've gone for brand new. We've gone for all aluminum in the back. We got the prospector bed on here. Got case IH red with some big old tires, baby. Yeah. Still going duels in the back because, well, we're using this thing to haul around. So we're going to need that. I'm also went with the supercharged and the 6.2 liter engine all together. Sounds and uh, the big boy stuff. I think it looks good. I am pretty, pretty darn excited to use this thing. Uh, it is big and it can handle some bumps as well. And I'm real happy about that. Yay! So unfortunately, I don't need to use it though because we've done everything we need to do. However, we do need to go ahead and take the rest of our crop back up to the grain mill. We need to drop that off and uh, and then we will move on from there. I did go ahead and get those bells sold as well. I did not auto load them up on this thing. Um, I just went over there and dropped them in the sell point. So instead of having to add money or anything like that, just dropped them off and went with it. I, uh... I'm not going to say I don't miss the other trailer. I miss it a whole lot. Also, the prospector bed. Uh, maybe don't get duels when you use this. <laughs> but it works just fine. Uh-oh. I think we have hit a limit right here with sorghum. It is not taking any more in, and it is not allowing me to do much with it. Take a look at it real quick. Yeah, sorghum's full, dude. Uh, we, uh, we got a lot of sorghum off of there. Definitely the number one uh, crop to use right there for use of that. Um, that being said, I think we do need to set an upgrade to uh, level two. It's going to give us increased capacity and it's going to give us increased uh, production speed as well. Man, I really wanted to do that with the bakery. So 70,000 and 105, 6, 175 ish thousand. How much money do I have? 212. <sighs> upgrade factory. Upgrade factory. <laughs> well, the good thing is now we're upgraded and I can dump the rest of the sorghum in there and we can make a little bit more cash money. Got that. Good to go. I am going to go ahead and try to use this trailer to auto load these things in, but I don't think it actually works. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think it works at all. Uh, let's go swap trailers. <laughs> the original plan for everything now that we've got everything set up was to go through to go ahead and fertilize the fields, get some stuff planted, at least today in game. And then for our last episode of the uh, year, I guess in game year, that was supposed to be harvest. 
that way we started in year number three and and then we could have a little bit of fun and we had plenty of money to spend well now that's not gonna really happen too much so what I want to do is maybe get to a point where we can do that so we're gonna have to go through we are gonna have to fertilize and we are gonna have to do some seedings all the things that I wanted to do to begin with we're gonna have to go through and do that right now and just like that we're we're, we're kind of done nice and easy there you go so we have field number four field number two right here both are barley and they are planted so let's go ahead and jump out of here we're going to maybe fast forward another day in the game oh yeah cattle just really pay attention to these guys because i keep forgetting i have them because they don't do anything other than poo i should really get rid of these things <laughs> I know they're going to be super beneficial to me once they grow up because they're going to create milk and milk makes money and probably the day that they grow up, maybe we'll buy more adult cattle, but I'm never buying child cattle again. It's just not worth it. Let me jump. Urgh, let me jump on it. Got it. Things are growing. April showers may bring May flowers, but I don't know how to say words out loud. Yep, poet didn't know it. Let's take a look at our production chain and see how we're doing. What's our backup right now? So as far as bread goes, our backup is 3,000. So that tells me we got 11,000 over there. And uh, flour's going down significantly. That I'm very, very, very happy about. As far as over here, oh, that's too much. Uh, oh. Um... Me thinks me messed up just a little bit. That's that's a lot. So <laughs> I'm, I'm almost terrified to go over there. So we've got a uh, fifty uh, so sixty thousand liters in there right now, and another five out. So sixty five thousand liters. It physically can't run anymore. Boy, oh boy, yeah. <laughs> uh, I know we've got auto load for the 3500 but i'm curious to see uh where it's at and what it's at and what it's involved with actually no i take that back there is no uh there is no auto load for the 3500 looks like we're taking this actually you know what the 2020 comes with this holds 82,000 liters this might make things a little bit easier for us and i could still drive my truck that's a rock. So I've got a pretty decent understanding of how this trailer works, but I just want to make sure I do it right. I'm also pretty positive I'm not going to be able to take things or get rid of things as fast as I once did. So I'm going to go ahead and just double check here, open up the doors, and we'll come right over here, and it should start auto-loading up, and it does. So uh, this is not going to be as quick but it might be a little bit easier. Plus, we do have the ability to just set this down right over here as well. And it could easily just pick up everything as it uh, spawns. So that could also be something that we do. Ooh, I need to get out of the spawn area because nothing's spawning because of me. Oh, there it is. All right, well, <laughs> things are happening. You know what? I'm looking at this now. I got kind of an idea. If I had two of these, I could automatically load and unload from a lot of different ones at the same time. And if I had three, it could basically load in here at an unlimited rate without any issues whatsoever. Oh, how cool would that be? What am I doing here? I feel like I'm a bit of an idiot because I'm sitting here doing all of this when we have Really, DJ? You're just gonna go do that, huh? You don't even remember that the global goods palette exists and is super easy, barely an inconvenience, so simple. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. I could just use this. 200,000 liter capacity, boom, right in here. Let's choose, uh, can we do red? That doesn't look great. That one looks pretty good. I like that. Let's go with chrome. chrome. Chrome's just like, why would you do chrome? I like chrome, baby! Yeah! So why don't we just take this and have this do 
Oh, yeah. Auto load goes in from this side. Sorry. My B, yo. My B. So, that's kind of the, the thing that didn't, that didn't work great. Um, hang on. <laughs> so, why don't we use this to load everything in? The trailer is cool, yeah, but it's also causing me a bit of issue. And then all we need to do is find something to hook up over here, and I can easily unload it right over there at the cell point. I'm a genius, yo! I'm a genius! Yeah! <laughs> so let's take this, and then we'll do that. Was that really unloading into the trailer? <laughs> that was. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's see if I can pull over here and unload the trailer into the bag. Will it do it? It is! Oh, that's so cool! I love this trailer, and I want to use it a lot. But if I could just cheat and use this thing, way easier. Way easier. Let's take these and go and push them over there as well. They probably won't know which one to load into. And, uh, well, hopefully nothing freaks out over here. Let's go and save the game. Uh, looks like we do have all of the flour that we could possibly have out. This is good. And this is almost empty. Five, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go. Hopefully it doesn't try and start loading it back in again. All right. So that is step one. Do something weird with things. Step number two. Let's take this over here because this is liftable and it's liftable on all platforms. And we'll drop it there. And it's selling. Immediately. Okay. This might be the week to go. Let's take a look real quick. See if our flower is good. Flower is good. So let's jump back in the truck. And I'm going to go ahead over here and we are going to auto load up this stuff. We're going to auto load up the bread. And this is how we're going to go sell it. Because this is selling in style. I mean, come on. This is epic, right? Totally epic. Please? You you know you want to be in the trailer? All the bread? I think you have to touch them first. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. I think uh, if I remember correctly, David said things have to be like moving or have to be moving a little bit in order to work. Uh, I don't know. Man, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I can't, I can't do this right. So I'm just not even going to try. Here, let's just... There we go. And then we'll just take these and push them over there and take these and push them over here and everybody's happy. All right, so now all of the flour has gone in. So I need to come over here and set this right about here. Everything that drops down should, hypothetically, should just fall right in that and have no problems whatsoever. And I've loaded up all of my bread. So let's close it up and let's go sell some bread. And wouldn't you know, <laughs> the best place to sell it's right over here. So we will go ahead and open the door. I don't know if I have to or not, but we're gonna do that anyway. We'll bring it right over here and should start to see money going up. And it is awesome. Oh, this could have been so much more difficult than it is. But there you go. There's 62 grand in and we are only gonna make more money from here. And we're back with what's probably going to be uh, an interesting day to say the least. So let's start off by taking this little guy and having some fun with it. So I'm gonna fast forward into the next day in game. <laughs> uh, terrifying, I know, because this is such a bad idea. Oh, it's such a bad idea, but it's gonna be super funny to wake up and see a thousand bags of flour just sitting there. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're about to find out here. Yep, kind of figured uh, that 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 would that would be the case uh let's jump in real quick and see how bad things have gotten overnight oh they were all the way bad i see i see i see uh and it doesn't look like our bread has done much for us man that's gonna take forever uh doesn't look like our bread's done much for us we've barely got much at all i would like to upgrade it yet again but i can't <sighs> I vaguely remember the bakery being better than this. <laughs> at least at some point or another, I do feel like the bakery was at one point better than it is proving itself to be right now. It does seem like at the beginning of Farm Sim, it was a little bit better to do right now, but that's all right. 
It is what it is. We might still get a little bit of money off of this. Should have three more that spawn. There they go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take these. We'll sell them. Hopefully, we get a little bit of cash out of them. Is it still doing its thing? Yeah, the guy's walking over here. Sir, is this your flower? Because uh, it's too much. Ohio, I green car group. Um, uh, best friends party. Yeah. Uh, this is the best place to sell again. So this is where we're going to sell all the bread. It is kind of nice. Best sell point for bread, right where the bread is. Can't complain too much. Uh, so there we go, $66,000. Nice, can we upgrade this stupid bakery once again? Please tell me we can. Down in here, 75 grand to level six, come on. All right, I'm gonna take a screenshot of everything right now. Okay, so let's go button. I think it's insert. Yeah, I, I do insert. I'm gonna see what's changed through here. Because I have a sneaky suspicion it ain't much. So I've got everything pulled up right now and it looks like cycles per month has been increased by 2000. The cost is exactly the same. The storage is exactly the same and the output outgoing products is exactly the same. <sighs> no, it's not. I'm looking at my screen right now. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm going to leave that in because that's super funny. All right. So taking a look at the screenshot now. I know you guys can't see it, but I can. And that's, you know, that's there. Uh, so we have increased up 2,000 on our cycles per month. And it looks like everything else as far as storage go, we're up to 390 from 325. And the outgoing products is up as well. So is it increased? Yeah, but it's only 2,000. It's two extra pallets per day, basically. Is that worth it? I don't know if that's worth it or not. Flower's still doing its thing, so there's that at least. But I just don't know if this is this is where we're meant to be. I don't know, but I do know that it's June and there's no way the crops that we planted earlier are even ready to go yet. He gets bored. <laughs> me too, bro. Me too. Nothing. All right. So let's, uh, let's do this again. And we're back. It's doing the same thing that it was beforehand. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is buy another one of those big bags. I think that worked pretty well. So let's go ahead and get another one of those global pallets. Where are you? I got a blue one this time because it looks awesome. We'll bring this over here and we should be able to start doing this. We also need to make sure that these move because if they move, we're good. Now, it should auto load in everything from both sides and not have to have any troubles. Let's keep an eye on it here just to make sure. Please drop more from the sky. Please. Hey, there you go. I'm so smart and stuff. Let's pick up some more bread. Well, that went way faster than I was expecting it to go. What do we are over here? 98,000 liters in there and we got 20,000 liters in there. Let's take a look and see what our bakery has. 106,000 liters. I think that's too many. That's more than enough right now. We're doing okay. And instead of 11,000, we got 14,000 liters in here now. So we're doing better, but it's still not where I thought the bakery would be. I think at this point we would be much better off with two bakeries than one. But every time we get it another, it is better. So it's like buying another one anyway. And we made more money, 77,000 liters off of that. Cool. So. Things are going well, things are going good, and we got $140,000 now. I wonder if we can make even more. 80,000? Can we do it? Ooh, I just did it. What level is that at now? Seven? Oh goodness. We can only go up to a certain point. Oof. And we're back. <laughs> Where did you think we would be? <laughs> so this is going to be, uh, I think, harvest day. I believe everything's ready to go for harvest today, at least in game. So. Uh, we've, we've done good. We're putting a really, really good base on everything. So I'm happy with that. And uh, I'm not sure I could be much happier with the way the productions are going, even though we only have 
one of them. Uh, this is going to be 16,000 liters in here, so even better than we did the day before. Now it's time to go ahead and unload these bags because we need to go ahead and get that thing back filled up. If we take a look here, we've still got plenty of wheat in there. Just say plenty of wheat, plenty of flour in there, but uh, the more we can get in there, the better. So we'll go ahead and unload both of these at the same time, which should give us a, well, a lot. It should give us a lot of flour. And I bet you won't guess where we, oh, back, best backwards driver in farm sim, but I just have to be paying attention to driving backwards. Yeah, that's, that's it. Take it. <laughs> Here we go, 90 grand for that setup. So I've been so obsessed with upgrading that stupid bakery that uh, oh yeah by the way a lot of harvested to do today yes sir we've been so obsessed with this stupid bakery let's go do it again why not don't have enough money of course i don't um we're barely making like five grand more each day than what it actually costs to upgrade so we're still doing good up oh, that's crash counter plus one we're still doing good but i think slowly but surely i'm starting to run out of um yeah anyway let's take this over here <laughs> We'll get these set back up. That way, all of the stuff that comes out is ready to go. And we are ready to get our harvest done. Auto load? Auto load. Boop. Perfect. The reason I chose barley in the first place to do these was because we didn't have any. However, now we do. We've, we've got, well, we've got a bunch of it. And we also had a wheat that we don't have wheat anymore. Ugh, it's just, it's everything. <laughs> this map's been great though, it's been a lot of fun. I'm very, very excited to start working on farm build. What we may have to do is fast forward like an entire year in game just to get the grain mill and the bakery running, selling bread every single day. Um, we may have to take a break from farming just to get finally caught back up to the point where we can make money without having to spend a bunch of it. Because right now, we're having to spend a bunch of it. I get stuff. I'm like, ooh, I want this field, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I, it would be nice to have a bunch of money. We'd have a lot more right now if we were good about it. But, eh, it is what it is. Having a great time. Oh, we're stuck again. Man, I hate that. Way too close. I'm super excited to get away from this farmyard because of this stupid fence. Arr. And the last little bit right here. Not too bad. Almost 60,000 liters just off of the first field. Oh, we're going to get a whole lot more off of that other one as well. One thing we're going to go ahead and do is drop off our header somewhere. I'm not sure how I'm going to run this head now. I do know that going through all of this, it would be kind of cool to run a different combine harvester i think we've run this for three series now maybe four uh depending on when we started using it just for fun so uh it would be nice to kind of swap it out do something a little bit different i'm sure you guys would be interested in that as well what kind of harvester should we get should we go to new holland i don't think i've used a tc yet Ooh, we should do it so we do have a ch did i say tc i don't know where i got that from <laughs> we do have a ch uh, 770 in here right now this is from our uh, uh modded pack there but don't see much else in the way of uh new holland combine harvesters at least used right now but i do think that uh upgrading to a new holland would be a great way to go. I may kind of piddle through after this episode between uh, 10 and 11 and kind of take a look, see what's out there. Maybe, just maybe, we'll find exactly what we're looking for. And we are uh, done-ish something. I don't remember what the last clip I did, but we're getting this. Also, splash. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've leased this again real quick. That way it's just nice and easy. I don't have to worry too much. I'm gonna do everything exactly the same way this time around as I did the last time. So all the windrows will be the same and the bailing more or less will be the same. Hopefully we'll have less bells this time and we're gonna double check. Okay, we're a 24, <laughs> 240 centimeter. That's, uh, that's good, it's very good. I made a big mistake the last time around and that was not good at all. All right, so let's get everything done, unfolded, et cetera, et cetera. We'll go ahead and drop everything down and be ready to rock and roll. Uh, one thing, of course, all these big spots here at the end. So I think what we'll need to do is go through 
get all the spots that I think we can hit, collect those bales, and then come through and pick up all the little scraps and stuff like that. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. We'll, uh, we'll find out exactly how well this works going around town. And as far as this field, we are basically done. There it is. We'll go ahead and stop, and we'll go ahead and unload the baler right there. Now, I don't know exactly how many bales we made because I don't remember what the count was from before. But I know that one won't get, get off of here. There we go. I also know that our carbide harvester up there is about ready to go. I don't actually know how full it is. Ooh, 92%. I hope it makes it to the end. Nah, they ain't no way that this is making it to the end. We are going to have to stop it right here. I'm not completely full yet, but may as well be. Oh, speaking of full, our trailer's almost full as well. We got 124,000 liters or sorry, 128,000 liters in here. And it only holds 182. So we uh, unfortunately won't be able to fill this thing up all the way or unfill it rather. And there it is. 182,000 liters. There is no way, no way that this combine harvester is going to be able to finish this field on its own. We got to go unload that right now still miss that same spot yet again i wonder if the combine's just moving too fast and it bounces when it goes through there it never missed that spot when we were coming from the right side of the field but when i come from the left does it every time let flower simulator commence we'll go ahead and check on these guys while we're at it so nothing in there but it is about halfway through creating the next pallet that's nice and then over here, let's see, we got a thousand liters in there, which means there should be none in there. And there isn't. Perfect, I think. I just got back to the field and it's already 70% full. Come on, man. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I know what upgrade we need so that we can actually cart. Let's go in, we'll customize this. Grain tech extension. I had that one on there, I thought. Maybe not. Uh, engine setup. Still not too worried about the engine. The engine's great. Everything else is awesome. But there is one thing. The long pipe. Costs a little bit of money. Totally fine. I don't have the yawns whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Customize it. Good. 7800 bucks. Collect. Didn't delete any of our crop. And the auger should go out past the end now. I know I can get up to an 18 meter header on here. Actually, a 15 meter header works real darn good. So we'll do that and we'll jump in here, see if we can catch him. See, so much easier. So I've got an idea here. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but I'm gonna try and run. Oh, can I reach that? Not quite, just a little bit too far away. So we'll hit these first. I'm gonna try and just go back and forth up and down the sides and uh, in the main rows themselves. I know we're gonna miss a few little bits and bobs here and there. That's okay, I'm expecting that. And I'm also going to cut off the baler when we get close to the very ends. That way, I don't have to worry too much about the end because we're gonna miss a whole lot when it comes to that. We'll try and take our time. And I also, at least moving forward, wanna figure out if not a better solution, just one that makes a little bit more sense for us. So this is a great solution for now, but we're not going very fast. Well, now we are but usually we're going less than half the speed that we could. I don't know, any ideas? Doing it this way also prevents me from having a bunch of bells on the ends, which makes turning around difficult to say the least. And we're almost done with our harvest, guys. This is it. That is it for year number whatever. We're in episode 10, harvest. We got 82,000 liters left in here. I'm gonna go ahead and just Stop it right here. I'll come back through here in a second. Where's my truck? Aw, oh, man, it's all the way down here. You know, I just remembered when I was doing Silver Run how weird it felt coming back and doing just normal crop farming. I think that's why I've done so much of it on this map because I, I missed it. I missed it a lot. Where's my harvester? Is it going to empty the whole thing? Yes, it will. Ooh, we got close too. Silver Run was a lot of fun. The problem is like a lot of the logging areas on this map can't even own them. So there's no point because you can't do anything with it. I mean, I can't. I got a mod saying I can't, but I'm not gonna. But for everybody else, not a lot of logging on this map. Silver Run, all logging. 
I, I think I prefer non-logging. <laughs> it was fun, though. It was, a, it was kind of interesting and uh, definitely a new setup of challenges just doing logging. It was, uh, it was not easy to watch either, I know. Doing a quick check-in of our cattle. So straw is good, and we've got uh, TMR in there as well. And they have started to produce milk, which is very interesting. I guess at age 12 months, they start to produce milk. So we will need to figure that out. I used to have a mod installed that it would automatically sell the milk. However, I have since deleted. I don't know where I'm going with this. Oh, I guess I'm going down here. Uh, I've since deleted the automatic milk sale mod, so that won't happen anymore. We're gonna have to do it ourselves. And now we're back to this. We got a whole lot more straw to bail up. Uh, bales are coming a little good though. We've gotten I think, close to maybe like 80 or 90 bales so far altogether. They're the big ones, so we should be doing pretty good. And we are done. We made a whole lot of bells. We now made 314 bells just with that little bad boy right there alone. We'll go ahead and return that because we won't need it anymore. We'll go ahead and grab our baler because we can put this back. And then, oh boy, now I got to collect all these stupid bales, Lord. And for that, of course, we are using our 3500 with the auto loading 50 foot trailer. Do love this trailer. Hopefully we can do this this time and nothing will fly away. Oh yeah. Save the game. I probably won't do too much between now and then when we're done with this little setup right here. So I wanted to show you now we have $56,000. What are we going to have when we sell every single bell? A couple episodes ago, we ran into a bit of a problem with uh, loading areas full. Well, that's cool. Ugh, I'm not trying to load anything on there. Let me in my truck. I'm just trying not to like drop anything or anything like that. I had two more bales and I'm not coming back for two more bales. So we did it like this. This will work pretty good. Hopefully when I go over a couple bumps right here, it doesn't do anything bad. It's surprisingly in there and it, it's surprising. Also money's up as well. We're getting $41,000 for every single one of these runs. And for this one, we're gonna get even more just because of, well, the, the, the monies. What do you mean sold bail? You're not... Si Urgh, rabble. All right, well, let's uh, transport, unload the bales here. We're, we're going to have to come through here and do a little bit of work because this... I'm not trying to load. <laughs> I'm trying to take the, the straps off. There we go. And then we'll chunk that bell right over there and pull forward here just a little bit so the rest of these can sail goodness gracious i have been doing just fine and then as soon as i bring you guys along of course everything goes haywire but hey that's stop trying to auto load bells bro why are these on the ground knock it off <laughs> All right, well, that's done. Let's save the game so that nothing bad could possibly happen. Oh, goodness gracious. So now I'm not quite sure what I want to do. There's a lot of different things that we could do, but all of the quote unquote jobs that we've got are done. We got a decent amount of money. We've got, well, that field over there, which I kind of want to keep because we're doing pretty good with it, but I could care less about keeping this farm and I could really care less about keeping that field behind it. I'm just not interested. So I'm not sure what to do, where to go from here. What, what should we be spending our money on? What should we not be spending our money on? Do I still have the hiccups? Yes. So here's what I think we might do. As right now, we've got Holsteins that are 12 months old. And of here, I think we could buy some uh, 12 month old Right there, so health is good, reproduction is, well, non-existent, but age is really what we want here. We've got 80 in there. Uh, cows are a great, great source of money because you get a whole lot of manure. You get slurry, which they're not producing any manure right now, I don't think, because I think I may have forgot to place down a manure pit. I did, didn't I? Yeah, DJ's an idiot. Could have been getting manure this whole time. Urgh. So we got $266,000. Let's 
by more cattle. All right, so it may not have put it in the same spot, but at least we are doing pretty good. Everything is great. We've got some extra cattle in here now, and my mouse is way too fast. Here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna go ahead and hook up these animals. So I've loading area's full, unable to load any more items. The loading area doesn't even exist. I just want to. Uh, universal auto load, will you go away? I just want, there we go. What I want is TMR. I'd love TMR, there it is. We're gonna fill this thing up probably twice because we have, what, almost three times the amount of cattle now? Well, not three times, one and a half times. Uh, but we've got a bunch of cattle in here now. Food is not bad. They've gone through that in what feels like a year, uh, at least since winter last year. And straw is still way, way up. So we're going to boost straw 100% there. And we also need to place down somewhere for that manure to go. So if I can go in here with my mouse that goes way too fast, a manure heap. I have no idea where to put this. It's going to, it's, it's just going to go through the ground no matter where I put it. Like right there. That's awful. <laughs> Maybe over here, but I'm not sure anything would even happen there. Um, this might be the best place to put it, but then again, the fill-up spot's on the right side. And I can't drive where that is. Oh boy. Honestly, I'm not sure what's going to happen when I place it down right here. I don't know if the ground is going to go absolutely haywire, if it's going to be like, oh yeah, that's like the perfect place for it. I feel, I feel great right here. Let's find out. Not what I wanted to happen. I think there's some type of concrete wall underneath the manure heap. So maybe we can get that or at least get the side of it right here to smooth out. So where this driveway is nice and easy to drive on again. Because uh, that was not what I wanted to happen at all. <laughs> that actually stinks is what that does. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably going to be about as good as it gets through there. Yeah, it's this little whoop bump to the right right there. And then over here, this is completely unleveled, but it's still drivable. And I can get the manure off. There are worse things. So now we are full of food. Well, kind of. That's way too much food. Chuckermancy, I don't know what you were thinking. And then uh, straw is almost full there. We got a little bit of milk, so that's pretty good. We've got some slurry, but we can hold a lot more than that. So we'll hold off on that for now. Eventually, we're going to have a nice little setup here with cattle. Holds a thousand as well, so we should be pretty good to go. I don't know why I turned around and came back this way. We heading down the road, and I think we're going to um, think we're gonna head out. Seems like a good spot. We'll see you guys in, well, I call it year two. We'll see you in the second part of the series. Yeah.